So it, it just boiled down to like, he wanted it taken down. Um, and it's like, if you don't do this, we're going to put these lawyers on. Oh, I, I just basically said, literally said, what it's like, if you don't take it down in this amount of time, we're going to do X, Y, and Z to you. And I'm like, all right then. So what if I just don't take it down? Hello and welcome to the podcast. Today we have Chris <coughs> Atkrig. Oh, Do I clap myself? Yeah, you can yeah, clap yourself. Yeah, yeah, clap yeah, yourself. Yeah, it's good. You're allowed. You're allowed to. Eric. <laughs> Hi, thanks for coming, man. Appreciate you. No problem at all. It's uh, it's the first time I've had a guest come down and have an experience. Stay in a hotel, go out for dinner. It's been really nice. Already, it's been lovely. I had an experience, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely had <laughs> an experience. It wasn't that bad. We put you in, okay, <laughs> the cheapest hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good, yeah. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Me and the Roach so has got on afford. well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I when can't we believe- found the hierarchy, we got on really well. <laughs> 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 You're all right sharing a room with a stranger, aren't you? Yeah. Same yeah. 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 You're the boss, you can go first. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I appreciate you coming down. We, begin, we, we honestly have been going back and forth for ages, haven't we, trying to line this up? And Yeah, it's been one of them. It's just, well, yeah. I'm here now. Yeah, we're now. ready to talk bikes and go through your career. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. And, and Even though we've been, I feel like, I, again, I wish we'd recorded dinner and <laughs> Yeah, right, done, already done, like, already done three podcasts. done three again, but hey. I think it's a good day to do it as well. Like, you've got snow at home. It's yeah. just raining snow, here. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something guilt-free about bad weather outside, yeah. sitting indoors. Hanging out. You're yeah. injured. I'm injured, exactly. Yeah. That's really the... My ass uh, in- You're You're injured, <laughs> yeah. Was it that bad last night? Yeah. <laughs> 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 First five minutes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right, to clarify, you've hurt your coccyx, right? Yeah, I landed on, my, landed on a rock on my coccyx and, uh, yeah. Was this cycling? It, cycling, yes, it was cycling. I was just... <laughs> so you were, doing, you were a cyclist, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a cyclist. I was just really I, trying I, to I was hammer just, home. <laughs> I was just, um, just cycling in the woods <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just had a little incident and landed on my coccyx on a rock. You've actually so. got it on. Were you self-filming at the time? Yeah, always, yeah. Always oh, self-filming? Yeah, I never go anywhere without self-filming. Actually, for real, I don't know if you're joking, do you actually ride a lot self-filming? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, like, it's one of them, really. Like, I've always, like, for a long time, I've self-filmed, like, for videos. But obviously, like, you know, the, everything's sort of changed nowadays. Like, when I go riding, a lot of the time, it's, it's not just to get clips, but I'll go riding with, you know, the intent to get clips. So I'll do a little warm-up do all that sort of stuff and then just find something cool to film yeah. for Instagram and you know whatever and it's good it's good it sounds in a way like if I'd have said that 10 years ago it'd be like what you're just going to film yourself to do this to put on social media but in a way it's like it helps me because you've sort of like you're accountable as well it's like you don't yeah. just go for a ride or something it's like because I'm so like <sighs> I don't know how to explain it but like I like my stuff looking good so I can't yeah. just go and like throw something. Stu- yeah, like yeah. I'd like seeing it and then watching it and going, actually, like that's crap or that's, you know, like, oh, I like that, you know, or. Do you go through the B-roll? Like when you go back and look at a clip, do you go through the B-roll of you, like, for instance, nailing your coccyx on a rock? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I just normally go delete, delete, that's crap, that's crap, that's right, crap. Right, right. And then like maybe just find one that works. And if it doesn't work, that'll be deleted and that's it then. I'm just like, uh, must what try harder. On? Hmm? What do you film on? Oh, I'm pretty high, high quality, like oh, my yeah. camera. Okay. My phone, yeah, oh, phone. My phone. yeah, literally. Like, I used to use like <laughs> I've got like decent cameras and stuff, yeah. um, and I was like, you know, I've got decent cameras, got GoPros, got everything, but I just find like it's going on Instagram. If it, that's, I know that's the end result. There's yeah. no point me carrying a camera bag and all that crap and setting all that up when I can just put my phone on a cheap tripod, film it, and don't need to. There's, there's no like workflow. It's yeah, like it's yeah, there. Yeah. Crop up. Oh, cheers. Thanks a lot. Beautiful. But like, yeah, I was I was actually um joking with my wife the other day, like I'd like people just wouldn't realise like how I actually used to do it. So I'd always have you know like when you get like um a tire and you get that rubber band around the tire, like it's an it's a bit of inner tube, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, normally yeah, like yeah, a little yeah, yeah. bit. I'd always have like one like one or two on my handlebars and everybody's like, What's that for? It's like oh it's for filming. It's like, What do you mean it's for filming? It's like so I'd go in I'd be like literally in the woods, I'd find a like a, a stick smack it into ground yeah and then like i always i found a way of like just putting your camera on wrapping it around one side around back of the stick onto the camera then moving it around and uh, that was it never tripod. used to take it. yeah no way i got pretty so good, good at like being able to balance it on a rock with a rock in front of it and like 
man, I'm a genius. I could put a camera like, <laughs> I was just about to say I could put a camera anywhere, but that's just like, <laughs> <laughs> so be careful what you do, boys, when you go to the toilet. <laughs> well, yeah. it's years of doing it, eh? Just, yeah, just, and then I was like, do you know what? I should just buy a tripod that can hold my camera. <laughs> yeah. It's been revolutionary. <laughs> you know, Productivity is through the roof now. Does it change though if you did have a filmer there? Like, does the vibe change a little bit? Do, especially with what you're doing. Like, I guess some of it's a lot of takes. You're just trying to get these little bits of perfection. Yeah. D- does it change if the cameraman's there? You know, you might even. <clears throat> I'm gonna, you know, throw it out. You know, throw it out there that maybe you hear a bit of a sigh, or it's like, do you know what I mean? And the vibe just changes. He's just like, fucking, just get the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, if people you know were doing I mean? that towards me, that I'd be like, they'd be, they wouldn't be in the right job if they were doing that. With <laughs> me. So like, you know, it's really weird. Because I mean, yeah, it definitely does. Because obviously, like you know, especially nowadays, like obviously they'd be on a budget, like you know. So you it's not like, rate. yeah, and it's just yeah, because you know, like your time's ticking, mm. and you want to get stuff done, or the weather could be coming in, or any of that sort of stuff. It's like other factors, mm. and yeah, I don't know. Then yes or no? There's there's two sides of it, I guess. If you're comfortable with your filmer, like I use Will Evans a lot, and yep. we've done so much stuff together, like, you know, he knows the deal, I know the deal, and he's just like, you know, it can go either way. Like, it's, I could mess something up, he could mess something up. And it's generally the way when you've been trying something for ages, and I look around at him, and he's like, got this face, and I'm just like, oh, no, <laughs> really? No, like, oh. So the nature of your riding is that it does involve a lot of tries, basically, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it can do. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I... How would you summarise your riding? Good question, right? <laughs> yeah, really good, actually. Um, I mean, like, at the, obviously, at the core, is this somebody that didn't know me? Or is this yeah. just, like, just yeah. like now? Yeah, let's no, do it. Like, I mean, there's, there's two ways it of it. to someone like, who doesn't know you. Yeah. I mean, I, I reckon everyone knows you, but let's do it to someone like who's general, new to Chris Acrig. Yeah, I generally just say that I'm a mountain bike rider, but on the more technical side of the scale. Okay. And that's pretty much like normally what I leave it because people who probably aren't into riding probably don't even want like details. But then if somebody like I was into riding, I'm like, well, at core, I am a trial rider. That is my core. You know, I grew up around trials riding, motorcycle trialing, my dad, motorcycle trialing. Obviously, like I was dragged along to <clears throat> plenty of events and obviously I took it up as well, motorbiking. But I always had that, <clears throat> or I always enjoyed push bike riding. Right. So, and then it separated. Uh, um, probably 17, 17, 18, when I'd finished riding like national level schoolboys. Right, pr- so as a kid, you rode moto. What, yeah. what age did you take it up? Because trials, I feel like, <clears throat> is something you can do from super young age, right? It's yeah, like it is. I mean, like round round where I grew up in Yorkshire, it's it's massive yeah. and it's high level, yeah. you know. Not to say that it's not anywhere else, but it is at, like round me. Like obviously like these Doug Lankins, like, you know, four miles down the road and it's like you know that yeah. level around where I am mm. is high so I was dragged up in that yeah but I wasn't like a super early starter um you say your parents well your dad my dad yeah my dad was Charles into it Ryan. yeah all yeah all his life was into it um yeah. and then obviously I just picked that up from him going to events with him um so yeah probably it wasn't like super early I was like 14 15 mm. but like oh, I, okay, I learned yeah. really quickly like, okay. come on really quickly. Yeah. Um, and that's just from being around it, right? Just yeah, that it. was being around it and obviously always trying to ride with people that are a lot better. Right. So it'd always be like, I just want to go riding. Like, you know, one of one of my dad's friends, lad, was a lot better at me, mm. you know, always growing up. And he was like, you know, really good. And I just like sort of being that underdog and just going riding with him all the time. And then all, you're just like chipping away and then you'd be just like getting there and there. And then all of a sudden you're just like, level playing field, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So So did you have to go to spots or was it a free for all when you were younger? <clears throat> Motorbike. Like, yeah. Like in terms of could you just go up into the Dales? Was it is it like that or not? Well we had we were really lucky. It's been stopped now, but where we yeah. where where I grew up, um literally two hundred meters behind the house was like some woodlands. And at that point nobody really cared if you went in there. So we had that on our doorstep all the time. But obviously that was always where riding came in, where push bike riding became in, um, sort of better for me was I'd be riding motorbike, but I could only do it when my dad was there. Yeah. You know, because yeah. obviously like, he'd want to come with me or if we went to competitions, he'd have to drive because I was too young. So after like, I'd, I'd put down the motorbike and then I'd always be riding push bike all the time. So then that like grew. And then <clears throat> basically there was a, a motorcycle trials um, club uh, had a push bike competition going on. Right. So they they was like the, it was a British round. Yeah. And I went 
um, all the lads that were riding motorbike trials went, oh, should we do this this weekend? It'd be a laugh, you know. We're all road push bikes, you know, Montes and all that stuff. So you know, 20 like, is yeah, that? Twen- yeah, 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 20 is and stuff like that. And I had a, some bastardised um, Marin, or something that I had, a, you know, like little <laughs> yeah. sprocket on it and all that stuff, trials set up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but just a small mountain bike, um, as was the thing then. <laughs> and uh, we went to that and I just walked into the tent. I'm just like, ah, this course going. <laughs> and then like, and Martins were there oh, and they no. turned around cause I didn't, didn't even know him, didn't know him from Adam at this point and they turned around like who's this cocky you know like where's whatever, all the confidence you know? come from though how did you know I just think I was like you, you know, just knew you just like, a little bit it. just a little bit cocky <laughs> not like you know like yeah just like just because we were I don't know you and lad just being an idiot or whatever you know Yeah. and my dad was like he comes in and said oh, I've just looked at some exceptions it's like it's really hard actually and then I spoke to the guy behind he's like no you should just like ride the, the level down so I'm like, yeah, fair enough, really. So I did that, um, won that first time, like, on a competition. So I won that. Um, and then, obviously, like, go did Martins after I'd finished. I went round and I was watching him. And, like, okay. Matt, and I think it was, like, Aussie was through going through the section or something. And I was talking to him as he was going through the section. <laughs> and then he's, and then Martin Ashton, which I didn't know at this point, was coming to me. I'm just like, oh, your mate's just, like, clean this. What do you think about that? Like, just <laughs> early shit what, like, talker. Never met him. Like, just proper straight in. Like, you ask him about it. Like, man, like, yeah. And then, <laughs> then, yeah, we just, and then I, then I got a sponsorship from um, one of the motorbike guys, obviously saw that I could ride push yeah. bikes pretty well. And that was like my first sort of semi-sponsorship, like through um, Malcolm Raffle Sports, who was the importer of, uh, oh, I think it was. Oh, I can't remember now. Yeah. One of the motorbikes. Anyway, Sherco like... Sherco back then. Sher- yeah, it was, Sher- was it Sherco? I think it was before that. Scorpa. Oh, oh there you go. Wow. Scorpa, yeah. yeah. So, and they imported Montes. So they gave yeah, they yeah, gave yeah. us a bike. And then, yeah, next thing I was like down at another British round. Then Martin came along and we just started getting on really well. So then that's where that friendship started. Right. Like getting together. And then obviously... I've got a question. It might sound room. stupid. What is the view of like... What is the relationship between motorbike trials and push bike trials? Like... Is it, for instance, like a kind of like a pit bike? Is it like a to a mot- motorbike mm. trials rider? When do you start fiddling around on a push bike trial bike, or what? What is your view of it? I I just think like for I mean for me personally, and a lot of people that like around that grew up like around that area, if you went to any motorcycle trial. The, the the kids that want riding motorbikes are on push bikes a lot of time. Yeah. Like you go to like Scotland, Scottish Six Days, for instance. And I can remember like I'm sure there was like um a couple of Lampkins, some of like Eminwares that were like, you know, who have obviously gone on to like be amazing motorbike riders. But everybody used to just used to ride push bikes before and obviously that was like the the sort of the stepping stone. The training ground. Just, yeah, the tra- yeah, the training ground. Right. It would just that's just how it was. Like I mean I mean I guess it's a little bit more separated nowadays, but I think people ride pushbacks on motorbikes, but back then it was like, the were prob- yeah. Yeah, almost like it's a training tra- tool as well, a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like Tony Bo. Yeah. He was, when I was riding um, World Champs um, for my like career, I, c- I remember him being like really small, riding pushback trials and winning like mini me classes. Then all of a sudden, years later, he turns up on a motorbike and he's just like, oh, I remember that little kid that was like winning like pushbike trials like back in the day. Yeah, he's Tony Bo now. And he was like, yeah. ah, right, okay. But he's, you see that his stuff like when he's riding like yeah, e-bikes, e-bikes and stuff. And now, stuff. So can, impressive, he, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he can, yeah. Do you think it translates? Like what are the, because it's so different. You don't have an engine. <coughs> Things are all in the different places, like the levers and stuff. Yeah, well, I think, think, I, think it's, I think it's pretty much direct, yeah. Yeah. And I think like, especially now, like with, I mean, e- e-bike's not an engine, is it? But it's a little, it's a power unit. Yeah. So there is like a little bit more of that, like mm. you, I don't know. It's you can manipulate that power to get. Yeah, and I think that's or, that's what I'm sort. Of, yeah. Like I, f- I feel like that's the, that start for me. It's quite a nice, quite a nice feeling having that little bit of power. Yeah. It's not like it's not the power because I've got weak leg. It's the power because how oh, I want to use it. And now, like, you can make it, like, just do little things, like, almost like a blip on a motorbike sometimes. Yeah. If you know how to use it, you know? Yeah. I guess mo- m- moto trials is a lot about traction, isn't it? Especially, like, outdoor trials is quite, like... Yeah. You you do spin up and stuff, don't yeah, you? And there's, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. sections. I guess that's a big difference in push bike trials, or...? No, I mean, it's 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 all about, yeah, just finding that grip, in it? That's what it's yeah, all about. Okay. It's, just, it's just finding grip and, like, you know... 
um, being on that sort of cusp of drive and, you know, it's slipping up or whatever or spinning up. Mm. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of slam routers on that, you know, we'll see balance and... All I'm trying to think back to, you know, around that sort of time. So it was like the trials cycle, a bit of a subculture of mountain biking. Does that make sense? Well, I think he like, said, like uh, sorry, Monty's uh, came through a, a yeah. trials distributor. It wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Well, well that, that they were like specific. Because I remember when I was really young, it was like Montessa, yeah. which was a sub brand of like the, mo- the motorbikes. And then obviously that turned into Monty. But they Is were that what it was. So, yeah. But I they, but that. they were, wow. they were like specific trials bikes. Yeah. So if you went from a mountain bike side of it and you were a mountain bike trials rider, like sort of the Martins were like the earlier riders with that. If you mm. look at their bikes, they were all, and what I started riding were like just a small, a small normal production mountain bike. Okay. With like just all, you know, like one ring on the front. Yeah. Little rock ring, you know. Yeah. And all that, you know, flat, just flat pedals. And it was just literally like, that's all it was, a small, you know. Right. Normally like a woman's, a small, you know. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Nice and tight. Yeah, like you jump on one of them now compared to like a modern trials bike, and it's arguably better looking though back then. Yeah, not arguably yeah. actually, actually better yeah. looking back yeah, then. Yeah, you know, yeah. proper seat and bars, more relatable. I and mean, then out of that came brands like Pashley, yeah, things like that yeah. that started making like dedicated <clears throat> mountain. Yeah, trial starting bikes. starting to like, you know, like become more trial specific. And right. then obviously, like it turned into like you know what Danny rides now, like you know like inspired stuff, and mm. I don't even know what brands there is trials now because I just don't, I don't follow it. Dude, yeah. Comp- yeah, competitive trials is just sort of on an island, isn't it? Yeah. Like we were watching Jack Carthy videos last. last yeah, incredible rider. He's world champ, right? Yeah, he, Jack- I would see him nearly every day. <laughs> Do yeah. you? Yeah, there he, you go. But he like, rides, you look he, at his yeah. bike, and it's hard to like your early bikes were like pretty cool looking, weren't they? They were like yeah, yeah. yeah. Compared to his bike, he's got the bars rolled all the way forward. Yeah. They've got these long stems. They're yeah. sort of... Yeah. Like I said to Henry, he was like, well, so what is it? I said, it's, it's a pogo stick. Well, I don't know. Yeah. It's, like, it's like if you really? take... If you, so back in the day, um, you'd have one bike, like... Uh, oh, what they called? Members, was it? Members? So you'd do like... You'd do a cross-country, a trial and a downhill on the same bike. Okay, yeah. yeah. And that bike... Cool you idea. Would, yeah, yeah, really cool. Yeah. Really cool. I, I really like that. For, I think, yeah. you know, like, I like never did it. I just, Sunday. Yeah, just like, yeah. Like, over Saturday and Sunday, you do everything on one bike. Yeah. That was it. So I guess if you look at that bike, what it was, like, standard, mount, nice, but standard mountain bike. The trials, I guess the trials bikes now are about as far removed from that bike that way as the downhill bikes are as far from removed yeah. that way. Yeah. So you imagine, like, like the top downhill bikes, mm. com- you know, like, I mean, as a, Polar, you know, yeah, but then yeah. they're so, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, specialized either way, thing. yeah, you know. Whereas the cross country bikes are probably pretty much the same as mm. what they were back then, really. Yeah, I think but the thing about trials is like it's it, it, it feels like it's a, a different culture almost, like what everyone wears, what it, like it's not, it feels like it's a separate thing, yeah. Whereas I think what, um, early on, especially like I guess the Martins, yourself. And what Danny's done really well is like make it into this thing that that mountain bikers can relate to. Yeah. Not relate in the way that they can do it, but like it's like a language you understand almost, isn't yeah. it? It's like yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's very difficult to relate to modern trials, you know, and then oh, like exactly what you said like I mean Danny's really done it in a way that is super relatable I always use like the analogies like he does like you know things on phone boxes people like you know he jumps off a phone box and people like you know wet the knickers Mm. not saying it's difficult but or easy or anything like that but it's like it's so relatable I mean obviously he is amazing on the bike you know but it's like it's that relatability that you see it is You'd never be, you know, like most of the stuff is like you'd, I mean, you know, there's, there's, there's nobody that can do it, no. you know. But like you say, everyone knows a phone box, don't they? Everyone yeah. knows like the size of it and the scale. And like riding along like the skinny stuff and all that, yeah. you know, it's like, pe- th- like people really relate to it, you know. Mm. Um, I think that's, he's been so good at that. Whereas the stuff that I struggle with is like getting across when I'm doing stuff and I lo- and I enjoy doing stuff. It's a really awkward stuff and like really slippy or 
mm. the cameras you can't really get or like the distances and like the weird stuff. It's for me that's what I like. I mean, and it's so hard to yeah, you know, hard to get hard to across. Get that across. That's what I sort of struggle with, but yeah. I, I, I'm happy with it. You know, it's like, it's, I, I like it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when did it start becoming like, you know, a serious thing for you when you were younger? When did you, and when did you make that switch from, okay, I'm not going to be a motorcycle trials guy. I'm going to go this way with cycle, bike trials. So I like, I worked in a shop for quite a long time. And alongside that, I did like pretty much 10 years of like proper going, you know, going to Worlds like every year for like pretty much 10 years, a couple of years off with injuries. So you were heavy in the competing. Just competing, that that's point. it. Right. That's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, definitely nothing else. Didn't right. ride any other stuff. You just had one bike pretty much. Yep. That was a trials bike and that's what I did for like pretty much that time. Mm. And then I was getting like a bit from, sh- I say working, I was doing like three, four days a week at the shop and probably getting as much from sponsors as I was from working at the shop. And that was like, till I was about 20, seven, somewhere around there. Right. There and t- go, that's yeah. when I left the shop and went full time with Mongoose. Right. So I went pro at like 20, 27, 28, so mega lit. Yeah. yeah. Like most people are probably like hanging up the professional whatever you call it and doing real stuff. I don't know what yeah. you do when you're not <laughs> professional. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so I was like quite late into it, but I didn't want anything different. You know, I was like pretty happy. I was like chilled. I had, I had enough to get by and yeah. you know, there was no like pressure on me to do anything. I was like working at shop and riding and like coming and going as I pleased and like, you know, and then, like, halfway sort of through that, I started doing video stuff. Mm. Like, probably one of the first videos that, I, bizarrely, was, like... I did Trial Now, which was, like, more of a streety style video, which was, like, one of the first videos I did okay. with a couple of friends. That was really good fun. But yeah. I'd always been filming in between riding trail. Like, we, you know, you've always got a camera and... But yeah. it wasn't, like, an iPhone then. You know, you had, like, a yeah. little, little camera in your bag. Oh, just films this, you know. And then you'd... You know, then it'd be, it'd be different. You'd just you know, put it together on some hacked version of Final Cut. And <laughs> I've watched a, a Trials um, World Champs before. And like, how, how do you pre- prepare for that? Because it strikes me, like, I couldn't believe some of the, we, we don't really get to see it very much in like mainstream mountain bike media, but it's like all in rivers and like, yeah, it's yeah. really different to what I, like I'd thought it was going to be. How do you prepare for that as a contest? If that was what your main goal was? I mean, if you watch like the worlds from this last year, sorry, that is completely f- so removed from what I rode because right. it was all like real natural stuff. It's completely changed. Oh, yeah. So it's, back, it's like it, was, it was very much so. Ah. But so before when, when I was doing it, it was all real natural, like hardly. That's like, when you I've maybe seen you'd have well. one, almost like a motorbike trial where you'd have one indoor style section at the end. Yeah. If very rarely, but you'd have maybe one one competition a year that'd have one of them in. Yeah. Other than that, it was all like natural. Yeah. So basically, it was just like I'd just ride that stuff, just ride natural stuff. I'd like go ride rocks, go ride, you know, you, you know, sort of thing, side ups, from, you know, all that sort of natural, just, yeah. just sort of, yeah, ride that like most days and just push yourself bigger, harder, slippier, trying different stuff, you know, like just. Yeah, just doing that all the time. So it'd just be like a challenge. You'd set yourself a start point yeah. and then an end point. Yeah, and then it'd be yeah, like literally floor is lava in between. Yeah, replicate it if you really wanted to. Put a couple of rocks there just to like, you know, keep yourself honest. But it'd all be in your head, you know. It'd be like, use this, use that, use that, use that, don't use that, don't, you know. Yeah. And then, and it would, you'd always be like, you, you, the aim would be obviously to get through something without putting your feet down. But a lot of my problems were like, from a competition based rider, I'd also like to make it look nice and yeah. fluid. And I'd be very strict on myself. I'd come into stuff and be like, oh, like this, you know, like you could take technical dabs. Like, so you'd come up to something that you thought, I could come into this and make a real mess of it and get a five, which is the highest score, which yeah. is bad. Yeah. Not like golf, you know, like it's, you know, it's like the same thing, you know, <laughs> like it's high score, bad, yeah. you know. Or you could come into it, take a technical dab where you'd put your, like ridiculous, put your foot on something, be safe and know that you could get out with like just one point instead of five. Yeah. And I'd be looking at it thinking, if I came in this flat out and hit that rock there, I'd be on top of that, no problem. And everybody's yeah. like, just go in and taking the dab and quit and be like, Chris, don't do that, don't do that. I'd be like, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> be like, have it in red straight away. But just like, everybody be looking at it thinking, I'll come in here, you could almost see him preparing himself to fail. It's really? Like, and I'd be just like, five or nothing. Fuck it, I'm going for this. Yeah. Like, it's going <laughs> yeah. to be the best stand back. I yeah. would be a sort of thing, you know. <laughs> what was like your relationship then to competing? Were you actively trying to win these events or you were a bit more sort of 
I'm here to do something that makes you feel accomplished as a rider. Um, Does that make sense? Yeah, I think I think a bit of both. Like, I mean, at world level, obviously, like you know, I think I pretty much always knew that I was never. I don't know whether I really, really took it. I took it seriously, mm. but I almost like I always knew that like maybe I just didn't have that like just there. I was fairly close. Like I was, you know, I was I was good level, yeah. you know. Um, and I was like fighting for you know good top fives and stuff, but like that to, mm. I, just, I just don't think I was that. Sounds horrible. Like thinking back, I don't know if I was actually that. I enjoyed riding yeah. and doing silly stuff on my bike. Yeah, and yeah, it would be great. Did you, ha- did you have to compete though? Because I guess back then there's not the YouTube, you know, that sort of side. Did you have to compete in order to drive sponsorship in order to like make it a job? Yeah, it? I mean. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you got good, I mean, like British British stuff was like pretty much sorted. Yeah, yeah, I think I don't know how many times, but it was like five or six times British champion. Okay. So I was like pretty all right at that, you know. If I was yeah. there and I was riding well, yeah. I felt pretty confident, you know. Yeah. So and obviously, like, but it wasn't. I think even now people struggle to get a good one, you know. No matter how good you are at trials, it's so it's quite a tr- like and unless you're doing demos. Okay. I think it's or unless you maybe like top. What do you mean? Like it's tough to make it to get get brass. Like I mean, yeah, even Martin's yeah. went away and started doing demos and getting like outside sponsors. Like you know, obviously, like Martin was Volvo Candle and stuff, and he was doing demos. Fucking hell, every many times a week and <laughs> yeah, stuff. And, hardly on it, yeah. And I, and I was like, because obviously at that point I was just working at the shop and getting a little bit from just sponsors. I didn't need much money because I didn't mm. at that point have a house or anything. I'm just like I'm chilling. Like I don't need, you know. Then it was like once I st- well Nick Larson got involved with him. And I got onto Mongoose, okay. Hot Wheels UK, and then obviously like things like the Fixie video that I did, the first Fixie video, that was a thing all of a sudden, and I just went and Nick was like, oh, just grab this Fixie, go and make a video. So I did that, and that did really well. Yeah, I can't remember. There was another video like a re- like just like super easy for me to do. Like you know, I just jump on board, trials background. What do I need to do? Just jump on it, just make it. You know, just I don't know like, and then it just turned out that like what I did on that bike was completely different to anybody that had anything done. I didn't even know there was a scene. Right. And I was just like, all of a sudden, just got this bike and everybody was just like, it was a big scene when it kicked off on it. The yeah, thing. Fixie was, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And, um, so that sort of got me a bit noticed within like the video stuff. And then I was like, all oh, right, this is, this is interesting. This is what I need to do. Yeah. So then obviously like Nick got me to do a couple more videos and then we just went to Mongoose and basically took them. I made a plan and just went, this is what I'm going to do each month. I just mm-hmm. put like, picture of a different bike on each month and went I'm going to do a video on a BMX on this on that you know and then down all bike I'm going to do this and this and this and then they just went for it and it was like yeah you'd ridden on, other go. bikes or was this a moment where you actually kind of discovered <coughs> other bike riding were you trials until a point and then did other stuff or yeah I was basically um we spoke about last night Eddie he'd been away he'd rode BMX Eddie Tung and then we just started riding quite a lot of BMX so I had that like trials BMX and we were just I would just sort of mix in with both really at this point because I'm sort of losing the love for trials competition. I was over it. I went to the last. I knew I was over it because I went to a world champs and got there and I was just like, I'd, I had a five in one of the sections. Obviously, like you know, I fell off or whatever, and I was just like walking out thinking, I actually don't care. Like literally walking out thinking, do you know what? I actually don't care. And I was like, soon as soon it was like one section, I remember it so vividly. It was so weird. It was just, it was just it's just come back to me now. I was like, did one side up, and I just fell off. Not not bad. I just came off, and I was just like, do you know what? I am over this. And yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. it was like fifth. It was like fifth section in the first lap. Yeah. And I think I was like, I think Eddie might have been minding. Eddie was minding for me because we'd gone out. I had my BMX in the van as well, and we'd been doing some street riding somewhere. And like the next, this is how serious I was taking. We were doing the street ride, and then the next day I was riding trials, <laughs> world championships. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, and then I was like, Do you know what? I'm done with this. Like really? we enjoyed last night making little silly videos, going yeah. street riding. That's it. Like you know, let's get let's get this. Yeah, and we had like that trip was a really cool trip. Once I'd realised, and we just rode BMX. I think we had a surfboard with us. We had like at that point like a sponsored up car, and we just drove through Europe, just like sick, just doing that and I was like this is actually where we want to be not doing competitions just yeah. doing the other side of it the actual fun stuff yeah so let's get sponsored to 
do videos. Yeah. So that's that's basically when that started. No more comps after that. Was that the moment? The yeah, side hop ended it. That was it, yeah. That was it. <laughs> Didn't ride another competition. Didn't ride another really? competition. No, I was just like, no, I was, I was just like, no point. What's the point of going to a competition if you don't want to win or yeah. do really well? It's like absolutely pointless. So that's why you stopped? That's why I stopped, yeah. Okay. And what sort of year is this then? <sighs> you remember when I said I don't really know very well at dates yeah, and stuff? Yeah, that's me, mate. A long <laughs> time ago. <laughs> Everything's a long time ago for me, but yeah, a long time ago, yeah. So it was... Yeah, so that that just yeah that was just done. But then it was like a load of silly competitions we did. Like Red Bull started getting involved in a load of weird stuff. Like okay. with like, there just seemed to be like a load of weird competitions. Like yeah, there were at times. Like there? Um, the mini drum stuff, like that stuff. Yeah, they did that off. cornfield race. Cornfield one, yeah. Um, uphill sprinters ones. Yeah, Cobble it was Wobble. in Bristol, wasn't one it? One in yeah. Bristol did that. Threw up. That was horrible. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah. What did you do it on? I did it on a hardtail, like a, yeah, just a little hardtail, like a jump bike. <laughs> okay. With like super light forks and like, yeah. you know, and I think I had like the wrong gear and I'd gone on one cobble wobble and then just presumed the one in Bristol was a, like, yeah, no, it was like got a good set of legs on me, but it was longer and just not as steep. <laughs> it's like, if it had been steep, it was all right. This one was like halfway through that, halfway through that thing. I was just like, no, this is me. I'm done. I'm maxed out. I think it was like a BMX rider. I think I did a tech on a BMX ride and he was pretty rapid. Right. Obviously, like, their gate starts pretty decent. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it, I think it was him who put me on. I took, there was a guy on a road bike and obviously he had gears and I think that's the one, actually, because, like, he'd obviously got a good jump on me. Mm. Oh, no, I got a jump on him. Then all of a sudden, it was like, when you see them drag races, then it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> just like, hang on a minute, he's got gears. I haven't got gears. I'm absolutely fucking hanging here already. Like, <laughs> yeah, so. I'm interested in what, bike is your bike that you go out riding on what is the bike that chris acred goes for a ride we're going to find out what that bike is after the break davy i've got a question for you dude please i've broken my hand i've broken my arm i don't want to make this about me but i do want to be back on my bike as soon as possible mm. okay so what's the question? You got any tips? I, got I want to be back amongst it dude yeah okay i've got a couple of tips for you now please. obviously you want to be giving your body the ultimate opportunity okay to heal okay how would how would you do that though okay you want to be putting good stuff into it okay what you eat okay is what you are yeah that's what they say in it yeah yeah they do say that yeah okay so you want to put in optimal nutrition okay thank you for the teaser there optimal nutrition whole food source ingredients vitamins okay minerals this all sounds like it makes sense hey man we have an opportunity right here with the little green tub what what, 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 what? you said all those different things, yeah. like that sounds like, like what, what is it, like pills, capsules, loads of like things that you mix together and you, it sounds like quite a long job in the morning. I don't know if I'm up for that. Some people do it like that and those yeah. some people live in the dark ages, babe, but we don't do it like that. Right. We do it with AG1, a simple whole food sourced scoop of goodness, okay? You get right. it, you put your little scoop in the little green tub. That's what that green tub that's is? What that green I thought tub that was is. a Bluetooth speaker. No, it's not actually, no, no, better than Bluetooth. No way. Way better than Bluetooth, yeah. So you, you basically, man, it's simple. All you have to do is have a scoop in the morning. Best taken on an empty stomach, all right? Well, you can scoop give you, it into, straight into your mouth. Well, you can scoop it straight into your mouth if you yeah. want to do it like that, if you want to raw dog it, yeah. or you can just put it into some water. Okay, swirl it around. Right, that makes more sense now. Mm. Yeah, okay. I've been known to do it like that a few times, though. Just, just dry. scoop and then flush just it straight down. take a deep down. breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and just don't breathe out. Um, but, mate, it's super easy. I love it. It's part of my daily routine now, right? And it has been for ages. Okay. And I, I don't think I'd be the same person without it. Well, I, I, I literally wouldn't. I'd be a different person. I wouldn't be as optimal. Dude, believe it or not. The ads would be boring. Believe it or not. <laughs> I was joking earlier when I said uh, said I thought that was a Bluetooth speaker. I knew exactly what yeah, it was because exactly I is. also take it twice a day, every day. Yeah. Twice at the minute because I just think, why not? Because I've got broken bones and I feel... So like we're both double dabbing at the moment. We're double dabbing, yeah. I've been double dabbing yeah. for a minute. With, with all of the sickness and stuff going around, viruses, a lot of go. people are ill at the moment. I've been doing morning and evening AG1 hits. There you go. And I, hey, I seem to be avoiding everything. So, And you seem to be healing up. Yeah, I mean, I'm not looking great at the minute, but fingers no, crossed we're going to sort of move on quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to be as optimal as me and you, yeah, all you have to do is go to drinkag1.com slash the ride companion. That's drinkag1.com slash the ride companion. Of course, there's going to be a little deal for you there, okay? They're going to throw in five free travel packs. They can't. They can. And they're going to give you a bottle of vitamin D3. They cannot do that as well. They can do that as well. We will do that as well because that's the sort of people that we are. 
Wow. What is there, a code? Yeah, the code is the Ride Companion. No, well, there's that... not. There's not a code. There the... isn't a code. You well, just the... go to the URL, drinkag1.com, the Ride Companion. It's right here on screen. No code necessary. So that's what it is. They so just it's... do it all for you. So optimal nutrition. The Ride Companion. Yeah, optimal nutrition. Optimal ways of getting the deal. You don't have to go around. You don't have to put codes in. You don't have to mess around. It's just right there. Delivered, and they deliver it to your door. You don't have to walk to somewhere and get it. Can I do it? Can I just... Clip on optimal for the finish of this ad. Yeah, please. You wrap this thing up for us. Optimal. Thanks, AG1. Thanks, AG1. Right, so Chris, what is biking to you? You've talked about all these different bikes that you've ridden. What is it now, day to day? What does it look like? Right now. Ah, so it changes. It, I mean, it, it always has changed. Yeah. And I think this has been a thing, like when I've done so many different videos, it's, it's always been like, right done a video on that i'm gonna ride this and it's always been something that's good and it's just like kept me like motivated to ride just like new things all the time like not yeah. new things just changing up all the time so to answer your question at the moment i probably ride two bikes pretty much but one of them like my e-bike now is pretty much my go-to pretty right. much always like and it's still relatively new to me there's so much i've got to learn as well which is cool and i just i just enjoy it that's all it is it's not like it's not easy, it's not cheating, it's not this, it's not that, it's just different. It's a different thing. I yeah. absolutely love it. Can't get enough of it. All right, so you've got your e-bike. That's number one choice. You've got it out of the shed. You get on it. What happens next? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Are we going to a building site? Are we... Like, it's a, oh, it's I a hope good so. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good day. <laughs> <laughs> Derelict shit hole. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's keep it coming. Oh, oh, come on, put that bacon in there. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, generally, like, my my sort of go-to is a place, like, near me, um, which isn't, like, a lot of my stuff on Instagram. It's 20 minutes away. Throw the dog in the van, bikes in. We just go there and just do as much or a little as I want to do. You know, sometimes I'll just go there, do, like, a, like, I can do a lap there, warm up a little bit, just find something to do, just play on. If is I'm it, into yeah. it, if I'm into it, I'll film it. If I'm not... I'll go find something else. Or like, just it's just. I mean, I've been going there. I mean, pe when people say like, "Oh, I've been going to this place for ages. I can't find anything to ride," I'm just like, "Oh my god!" I just like, just come on. Like, you can just just go do that backwards. Do that like switch. Do it. You know, whatever. You know, do it. Just or just go and find something. I just. But I could just look at something and just go. Oh right, yeah. If I oh hang on a minute. If I do that as well, and then come and then. All oh, right, yeah. Now we're somewhere. Or I'll try something and it won't work, or it will work too easily. Then I'll be like, oh, all right, if I do this, I can go there and then do It's like, mm. it just evolves. And because I've ridden so long and I enjoy finding the stuff, little bits and bobs to ride as much as I do riding it, I guess, you know? It's yeah, like, it's, I, I think what, what's really normal to you is not, is probably less common than you think, though. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, yeah, it's, I, I think I get that one. Like we were sort of half joking about it last night when you know who do you ride with? I'm like I ride on my own all the time because it's like there's not many takers, you know. Because literally, like people just don't like riding with me. Like or they, or they do like riding with me, but it's like I tell you what it's like. It, I, I this is some, I don't know why this popped into my head last night. This is like when people go riding with me. It's like when I take my daughter shopping. It's like <laughs> stop it. <laughs> It's like you're pushing along. It's just, can I have a look at that? What's that? Can I have a look at that? Can I have one of them? And it's like, push on again. All I want to do is do my shop. You know, this is the other person. He's <laughs> supposed to be coming for a ride with me. But it's just like, can I just hang on? Like, just come back a minute. I just want to have a look at this. Can you just film me do this? And it's yeah. just like, like, you know, they're like my dad. And just like, oh, all I'm doing is just like, oh, can I have a look at that? Oh, I'm riding that. Anywhere I go, I'm just like, this is the trail centre. That's Chris over there. And the woods like doing some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so you're yet to meet someone who can go riding with you and you like bounce off. Yeah, I mean, there, yeah, I mean, there is like, so, like, I mean, even, but I don't ride with anybody very, very often. Like, m sorry, not hardly ever. Yeah. Really. I mean, it's not because I don't have friends or anything. It's just because I ride through, I ride first thing in the morning. Okay. You know, there's not many people around at like, you know, nine o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday morning sort of thing. Mm. He just wants to come for a ride. You know, it's like, and I, you know, ride most days that time or, but it's not just that. It's like, I just enjoy riding on my own. You know, I don't, I don't do your thing. It's my thing. Yeah. I, I mean, there's something so cool about it as well. It's like super creative. I yeah. always think the people I like biking with are like, they can have fun in a car park. Yeah. You know, like you're waiting for everyone to yeah. turn up and 
then a rut appears in the side of the car park. That's like my, I really like riding with that yeah. person that yeah, makes yeah. the rut yeah. or that yeah. like calls out the challenge. I'll do something. Yeah, do, it's normally doing silly things in it. Yeah, like, but I know. think what, where that comes from is like creativity, I guess. Because not necessarily mm. everyone would see a rock with a stream next to it and think, I want to go up the stream and then over this rock. You know mm. what I mean? I, I don't yeah, know if no, that's a no, good I, example. No, but yeah, no, I, I think, I mean, like when I see the reactions on some people's faces when they see me, like, it, I mean, a lot of times I don't really see many people anyway. Um, but like when they walk past me and I'm like, Standing there with a little ca- set up camera, my little phone and my camera tripod, and I'm looking at some seemingly insignificant piece of woodland, and I'm like, "Morning, all right." I mean, I think sometimes having the dog with me actually validates my reasoning oh, mate, for being yeah, there. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah. if I like, you know, if I'm in the middle of nowhere, like with a tripod set up, and it's just like, "Oh, he's one of them," you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like it's fair to say you're probably quite introvert. I get oh yeah I guess so. so like, do you I don't know. struggle with the having to be online, make videos? Is that a challenge? Because um, it sounds like you'd be happy without any of that and just ride your bike in the woods, just do your thing. You know. I don't know. I mean, I enjoy doing little videos. You do, yeah. Like yeah, I do. I do because I think it keeps me sort of going as well. It keeps me motivated in a way. Yeah. It keeps me finding stuff. Um, but I do it regardless. You know, right. I don't think I'd ever just be riding a, a cross country loop, you know, and then coming back and I'd feel that might be quite boring. Right. I think if it got to that point and I want, if I want in a position, I don't know, like, yeah, it's a bit of a funny question, really. Mm. But that said, I could probably turn Instagram off tomorrow and be quite happy about it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I don't, I think sometimes. Like the, the could, likes could, and this stuff done isn't the motivation. The motivation is the piece of content that you've put yeah, I mean, I'd, loads of effort into. I'd, I mean, if, like everybody, everybody likes a good comment. Nobody yeah. likes a bad comment. Yeah. I'm really lucky, you know. I don't like go through it religiously, but obviously you do because mm. whoever says that they don't is mm. lying. Mm. That's what I think. But um, I'm pretty lucky that I don't. There's not much negative stuff there, to be honest. Okay. You know, there's yes. the, you, it's like you know whatever that percentage of like. I mean, <laughs> is it you know? It's not going to change my life. You know, it's like yeah. If it's just like we've sort of almost talked about last night if somebody's putting negative comment on something which i don't really get just go and watch something else yeah because there's there's quite a lot loads more there's content. quite a lot of content on youtube and yeah. instagram you <laughs> yeah. could find some you can't get to the end of it <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> keep so trying. if you're not just quite liking me ride up an hill on an e-bike there's somebody riding down hill on a down hill bike yeah go watch that yeah, I mean, I, it, it's interesting. You the the e bike came first because I can see how for your <laughs> riding, it's like it does kind of open up a new, yeah, bit, right? Yeah, it's yeah, I yeah, I've really enjoyed riding e bikes, and but it's not something that I've like given up riding normal bikes. No. I still have my T one forty, you know, my white T one forty, which I love riding. Um, I've actually been riding my hardtail over winter quite a lot. What does your hardtail look like? See, I don't know. Just when Chris Aikrig tells me he's getting his hardtail out of the van, I don't know just, what it's going to look just, like. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, li- li- it's literally um, out of the box, you know, just white. Um, oh, okay. Just a white... Cross- Mountain like, bike. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. What are they? Cross- cr- like a cross-country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not like a bastardized thing with a small ring Trials and all that bike, stuff. No, like it's like out of the box, standard, just, yeah, just what That's you can cool, go... Yeah. And buy just like you know out just a mountain bike you know yeah, yeah, hard yeah. to mountain bike when i first got on it i was just like oh god what have i done here you know this is like i'll take the fun out of riding my bike again sort of thing and then when you like when you've ridden it a couple of times it's just like actually this is really cool because like there's no there's nowhere to run like you know it's like it's getting it's not like the purest form but it's pretty pure and it like you know yeah i think mm. you know like mountain hard tail mountain bikers would say they're pretty pure i'd say yeah, for you sure. Know, you know, yeah. I, I guess it's interesting because you, I guess you, like r- your riding's like almost challenge based. I was trying to get my head around it. What I, what each person seeks from biking is totally different, or any sport or anything. Yeah, like yeah. some people like whacking a turn, some people like pulling up on a jump. Yeah, you like a challenge, basically, right? Yeah, is that yeah, fair to yeah. say? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's just yeah, going out finding something weird to ride, and that's it. That's yeah. I mean, I think yeah. I don't know. It's hard to hard to really get across what part of that. Yeah. I th- do you know what I think? What it is? It's when you've done it and you've done it really nicely. It's like anything. You do like yeah. a nice tweet 
one of them or a doodah, it's like, it's, you know, I know I'm a jump terminology. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do get what you're <laughs> But do you know what I mean? You just land and you just go, oh, yeah. yeah. That felt nice. Or that would go, do you know, it's like, yeah. or fucking hell, eventually I've been there an hour. I feel like I ask you a question and I instantly (laughs) try and think about what it would be for me. Mm. And actually, it's a really difficult question, isn't it? Like what actually it is that you're aiming for when you go out on a ride. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that thing. I think it's like being out of control for me. Is it? Yeah, clearly as I've got too broken off. (laughs) But I think that's what it is. It's like whacking a turn, being out of control and then controlling chaos. Are you even like that on your own? Because I think that's a really unique thing that you will go and do probably these really hard things with, with... consequences but yeah. yet you find solace in being out on your own i think that's the other thing as well like a lot of my stuff i mean i've done big stuff and i can if i want to but yeah. i don't feel like that's not don't turn me on really right. but i mean that's a different thing mm. if you do something big and you get away with it, it's just like this needs to go right first time you know like type of stuff and you only really know it's like when stuff like that is how hard or horrible it is and when it goes wrong yeah. if you do it like sometimes that stuff the big stuff's just like Oh, I guess we just throw something big in to make it look, you know, big or whatever. You know, it might not necessarily be something that really turns me on, but it's more like doing something just for doing sake, you know? Yeah. Like doing this drop, this piece of piss, all you got to do is ride off it, you know? Like, it's just a case of taking a landing, yeah. you know? But it's yeah. not like, it's not a really horrible, cambered, you know, like switch foot. Tech. Horrible tech, you know? Like, yeah. really thinking about it and having, like, to be mega precise about mm. where your pedals are when you put the power down. And all that jazz. Yeah. That's what, like, that's what I guess is like a bit of a weird, nerdy, yeah. tweaky. W- did the, we were um, <laughs> slightly going back here again, sorry, but like, were you apprehensive with the e bike thing when they first came out? Because it, to me, it makes no sense what you're doing on that e bike. Because it's the heavy, uh, yeah. It, it, I don't know. What was your first thoughts of the e bikes and like, how could you use that to do your discipline? Or what you enjoy doing, so to speak. That's a really good question. I can't. Like, I do know I'm a first time on an e-bike. Yeah. Um, because I did, I did sort of a video that it never. Yeah, never, never. Another it, one that's gone. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I did, I did a video on one, but it was like, um, it was between Mongoose and GT. Right. I did it like a like on a Cannondale because obviously it was all the same company. Yeah. And um, I didn't have a GT bike, but I had. Uh, I got hold of a Cannondale just to try it, just for like. Just, mm. just because, mm. you know, and I had to go on that and I had to put like a video together. Um, and yeah, just, it just, it was just like, a, like super good fun. Just smiling, just like brilliant. This is like a different mm. thing. It's like all of a sudden just like, right, okay, let's see what we can do on this sort of thing. And it's only been like the same thing as what I've done on a, and anything else differently, what I've ridden over years, you know. You've like gone from little Charles stuff, bike just, to just, mountain bike, Charles Yeah, bike down all stuff like, you know, yeah. mid, but um yeah, to go back to like your original question um, about an hour ago <laughs> <laughs> about what bikes I like riding, I think like I've really sort of plateaued now. I love riding like just that mid travel bike, you know, one forty, one fifty. That's my um, um, that's where what is it? One yeah, sorry, one sixty e one sixty. My white e one sixty. That's like bang on the money for me. Yeah, one sixty, one fifty. You know, like that's a good amount of travel. You know, and and it's you can just e or not e, it's like the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Like I've got two okay. bikes, pretty much set up. That's what I ride like in between them two, really. Yeah, but like, yeah. And what do you change? Like, let's say you get one of these bikes, white bike comes in this box. <clears throat> Are you doing anything to it to make it more adapted for your style of riding? No, just a couple of my personal sponsors. Yeah. So i nine and Renful. That's pretty much it. Just swap that's out, and then yeah, good to go. There's okay. nothing. Little bit of like obviously like you can do with the Bosch two seconds. Alright. Do it really close though, so it's like ASMR, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really give it drink ASMR is yeah, drinking ASMR. Yeah, nice. Really <laughs> <laughs> um remember when I said about like digressing my mind wandering? Yeah. It's where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no specific things you do to No, like obviously like you know, like with with the Bosch motor, like you can just go in and just turn things up and just do a little bit. Bosch. What do you do? Because I've got a mate who challenges me to trials, challenges on my e-bike the yeah. whole time. <laughs> Literally, I can't go for a ride with him. You know who he is as well. He loves e-bike trials. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do to get an edge on my e-bike? Well, I told you that. 
<laughs> oh. I, I've never tuned any of mine. I've always just left the motors yeah. completely stock. But I yeah, don't know I just I'd want for an E. It's, it's a funny one because a lot of people think, oh, you just turn everything up to 11. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not that at all. I think like you've got to, it's still got to have that like input. But yeah. you want it to, I think you just got to play around with it. I like, to, I like it to react, qu- you know, quickly, but not too quickly. And have that like not full power because I just find if you have everything set up, all you're going to do then it just like spins up and you just like it's it's like have, it's almost like having no throttle control on a yeah. motorbike all you're doing is just like go, it's like a switch you're going from nothing to like full and it just like it's so not going to help you on a Bosch you'd be saying EMTB mode would be the trials mode yeah I never use anything else <sighs> interesting that's where I've yeah. been <laughs> EM, yeah EMTB mode with like everything just set a little bit off top ah there you go pretty much heard it here first yeah no, pff, very rarely if you boost Probably like the only time I ever use it is if I'm like, if I've been doing a bit and I'm just being lazy and yeah. I've got to get back to the van, I'll just do it. And if I just want to chill, you know? Yeah, yeah. Or it's a mega, I'm talking like mega steep climb, like on the cusp and yeah. there's plenty of grip. Yeah. That's the only time. But then that's like, it's getting pretty serious if I've got that, you know? Yeah, I'm full time turbo, I'll be honest. <laughs> I am on full time turbo, but mashing out of breath. Yeah. Nailed, but I, yeah. I always run turbo. But I think for challenges, that's probably where I mess up because you don't have as much, I guess, traction control, do you? Yeah, I mean, I I like it to feel yeah, like so you've still got your mind's actually doing yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like you're not, it, you're taking that, out, like, a lot of my riding is based on, like, you know, like friction and traction. Yeah. So I take that away and, like, you know, that's it. it like, for instance, when I've got a new bike and I jump on it and totally forget to, like, set it up and it's freezing cold, I just want to get on with it and I can't be asked sitting around, like, trying to, like, do that, you know, when it's really cold you just think, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll leave it today. You know, I'll set it up next time or whatever and you just, like, you're just all over the place and you're just thinking, I was riding shit today, what's going on? And then you're just like, ah, oh, I know, I just need to, like, figure these little bits yeah, out. And yeah, just, yeah, yeah, Especially with, like, the stuff, um, you know, like, going off edgy stuff where you just, like, you know, you're having to, like... Yeah, you, that you was that was boost. that was like the one that's like took me a little bit of figuring out because if that little overrun, yeah. yeah, and you know, and you're like coming up to an edge, <clears throat> say that table, and you're coming up to it, and then you know, on a normal bike, you're like full pedal or like you, yeah, 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 half a pedal or whatever, and you know where your back wheel is going to be, and that's when you're going to drop. So you're sort of like thinking, right, if I'm like, you know, half I'm, pedal, half pedal, you you know exactly where your bike's going to be at that point. Then you get a motor into it. Sometimes it doesn't just kick in as quick as you might think. So you just like your brain's going, oh, "Are we going or not? Are yeah. we going or not?" And, and then all of a sudden, it kicks in, and yeah. then you leave it too late to stop. And all of a sudden, you're just like, mm. in a I've world just, of shit. I've just had a thought, <laughs> thinking aloud here. If you could get your, what's your standard trials bike? Twenty six, twenty seven, uh, twenty nine. Sorry. Oh, my, what's my motor? Push bike. Yeah, Push all, bike, all, all twenty nine. 29? Yeah, all twenty nine. So now you don't have a traditional street trials bike, whatever you call it, a rigid. No. Okay, there you go. My Nothing. question was going to be, what would happen if you put an e-bike motor in a traditional trials bike? Well, that seems <laughs> insane to me. That'd be so funny as yeah. a as a yeah experiment. Yeah, I mean a traditional it's one. Fabio's next yeah. video. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, you could I, go up some stuff, right? Yeah. But you'd want it longer, but maybe. Oh yeah, it might be like a wheelie machine. Weird thought anyway, it'd end up like some weird hill climb e-bike yeah, yeah, yeah. category. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Is there yeah. anything you can't do on an e that like that you can do on a regular bike? It was funny, I did a I did a video recently, um which I can't really talk about. Well it's, I can't well I'm not gonna do. But um so basically like in two days I rode I did some on the hardtail, some on the e-bike and some on the just the one forty, T one forty, white T one forty. Right, right. So it's like really back to back literally back to the van out with the other bike and then doing it okay and it was that was quite interesting because right. well you, you just straight away you're back to back comparison on stuff and like that and it wasn't what you couldn't couldn't do it's just like how you ride it differently like mm. on the on the hardtail you were like just just flying through woods you know like just having fun like old school like you know like the old school like um what is it called that alex used to do like the how tills rule yeah. you know like just flying around like yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Dig, 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 <laughs> like you know and i was like and, and at the end of it i was like thinking that oh god the hard tail thing's gonna be a ball like sort of thing 
And I was like, that was one I had the biggest smiles and I was just like, yeah. fuck it now, I'm going to fucking hit this tree. And <laughs> yeah. like, it was really good fun. Like, um, but yeah, I, they, yeah, you can do different things. Yeah. There's a crossover, obviously. Yeah. But like, there's, there's obviously like, I mean, obviously weight comes into like it. I think way weight, more physical. I think weight mm. comes into it more than like the power side of things, okay. you know, because obviously like, that's what I noticed when I was filming on the, just the naturally aspirated, what the fuck, I don't know what you'd, but not yeah. is it annoying that you know like the it, whatever yeah. the normal bike Amish say. bike yeah the normal <laughs> the normal bike obviously that weight it feels like I don't know like you're just taking a rucksack off do you know what I mean it's yeah. just like you jump on it and just like oh god I remember this you know like you can bunny ops yeah so I <laughs> like it was in summary I think, I th- bunny ops I think, <laughs> it, I, I think it was like when I first started for riding for white at the start of l- sorry start of last year I rode my e-bike for for the probably the longest stint that I had ridden another bike. Right. So it was like months. So that was the longest stint that I'd just ridden e-bikes and mm. nothing else. Obviously, was I was happy with that because, you know, I love it. And I got back on my other bike and first you're just like, oh God, what have I done? Like, There's you know, like you jump on it me. and it's just like... Am I towing? It feels like, yeah, what's what's <laughs> going on? You pedal and it's like, oh my word. <laughs> like, but then, you know, like you... So I just found something to do and I did like a line and all of a sudden you don't even think about it and you're back on it. You know, you've, you've figured your pedal strokes back out and everything's coming alive. And then I was like, oh, I want to do this like step. And I, my brain was like, just bunny up it. And I was like, bunny up now. I remember this. I used to be really fucking good at this. <laughs> 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 Obviously, no, like me being me, I went to one that I'd done like a long time ago, like years ago, massive, like really high, you know, like yeah. really horrible, like really short run up, like half a pedal thing. And I'd start trying this and I was like, I was, I didn't sit, I wasn't like come back in tears, but I hadn't done it. And I was like, oh God, I'm like, I've lost it. Yeah. And I was like having a meltdown, you know? <laughs> And then I started, like, I had a couple where I was, like, hitting it. My feet, both feet were falling off and, like, hitting. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to really pin myself today. So I went, oh, I'm out of thing. And then next day I come back to him, just like, right, slow it down, think about it. And I started getting it. And right. I was like, when it started coming back, I was like, it's just, it's just a timing thing. That's all it was. Okay. Just, yeah. a, just a timing, weight transfer. And as soon as I got it, like, I was just trying to rush it. As soon as I started, like, yeah. chilling into it and back feeling it again, it. working with suspension, I was just like, yeah, nice. we're good again. So I try not to like, I try to keep it a little bit more 50-50 now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mix it up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, i got a question, right? But we're going to have to go back a little bit. Let me just stretch my coccyx. Please do that. Oh. You stretch your coccyx. Um, <laughs> so about 14 years ago, uh, Danny McCaskill obviously released his inspired video. Yeah. Did that have an impact on your career as well? Because obviously that had so many eyes on it. I feel like trials, especially even my circle of friends, got more notoriety. <laughs> and it, you, you, you know, you're already doing that stuff. You're well established at it. Yeah. Did that impact your career and get more eyes on you and have more? You know, I, I just like to think that more sponsors would be like, actually, yeah, like there's something here with this. It's um, for me, put it on the yeah, map a little bit. I right? mean, yeah, probably inadvertently it did yeah it wasn't something that i saw like directly it wasn't all of a sudden like he sort of does this as well let's yeah, have him yeah, sort yeah. of thing yeah, yeah yeah but yeah i guess there was like yeah i guess there was like a bit more validate you know you could validate it a little bit more mm. and but i think for me what he did personally on a personal level obviously danny was like very uh, i did a lot of street style stuff like yeah. back in the day Right. And I used to, you know, thought I was pretty decent at it. And then when Danny brought that out, I was just like, I was already starting to do more natural stuff, but okay. nowhere near as much as I did till after that video. And that was that right. was a personal thing for me. Not it wasn't a direct like. So you went. Oh my god, he's just shit. He's just shut street riding down. I need to go do something else. <laughs> it wasn't like woods. that. It wasn't that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to the woods. I'll be back. <laughs> but it was like yeah to the trees. <laughs> but no, it was like. I was like, oh, yeah, that, it wasn't like that, but it sort of was in the way. Like, I just thought, I'm really enjoying riding my natural stuff like street. Yeah. You know, like yeah. finding that style of stuff, finding weird stuff in transitions and trees and rocks and all that sort of stuff. And I'm just like, do you know what? I d- I'm not, like, interested in riding street anymore. It wasn't, like, I think it was just, like, 
yeah, you can have that. And I'm mm. going to the woods. Like, it wasn't... That's what I sort of felt on a personal level. It was a bit like... I, I just think after like that point, but like... It was a big thing, that massive. video. Like, yeah, huge, yeah, right? massive, yeah. Millions massive. and millions and millions of people watching it. Yeah. And it really, like, blew up. Yeah. And obviously, I just figured that, you know, being in a similar sort of vibe, like, it might have yeah. impacted you in a way, you know? No, I don't... Well, I mean, I think it has for... Yeah, I think yeah. it has. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely brought it more. Inspired. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's brought <laughs> it's brought it a lot more mainstream. Yeah, I mean, what it has done, it's like when people, <laughs> what it has done is gone. Oh yeah, I know a bike rider that does. Stuff. Danny Mac, I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. going to my physio. Like I remember going to my physio. I think it was like around about the time that I dirt myself or something, and it's just like, oh yeah, I'd seen this guy, and I was like, I think it was the time when that was blowing up, and so many people were like saying to me. And then I realised like how big a deal he was, you know. Yeah. That's when it was like like people who what what it was people that weren't into riding. Like you, I think I ever heard something like you were saying yesterday or this morning, and it's like people were coming up to me and there were stuff being shared all over the place. Yeah. Like you know the butcher's dog had just seen it. Yeah, exactly. He would sent it to. Pat like you said it in the Sam Reynolds episode. It's like this, you know, that was something that your your uncle's mate had sent. Yeah, that's it. That yeah. sort of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Everyone was watching yeah. it. And Edna everyone was in had stuff, seen like, it. Yeah. And she's just like, oh, we've seen this kid. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden, yeah. like, and that was, I think that's what changed, you know. And mm-hmm. I think he opened, like, doors for quite a lot of people, you know, like, and, uh, and obviously for himself, he'd got a lot of sponsors involved. Right, you know, but yeah, for so. sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, interesting. Interesting to think. Because obviously, then you again, from the outside looking in, lent a little bit more into the YouTube thing around then? Fair to say or not? Yeah, I mean, you got pro- you probably got your own style and I wonder whether that's yeah. part of it. Like, your, your style's pretty... I guess we'll put links in description to all your video projects. You've got so many and they're like <coughs> big views. Yeah, huge views. Big <laughs> production and you know how much work goes into them, how many tries, everything... Mm. Well, maybe not. Maybe you first time everything, but like <laughs> that's kind of your thing in my eyes. That's your yeah. I mean, realistically, like my setup is m- m- so small. There is like you know, from a production point of view, there's like generally speaking, there's a lot like a lot of my rec- more recent stuff has been like obviously Will Will Evans and myself, and that's it. There's two of us, and if we have to get somebody else involved to like take us to spots and stuff, that's a bit overcrowded for me. But, you know, if, if that's what it is, that's what it is. Um, but obviously, originally when I used to date, it was like just press ganging, literally press ganging my mates. Just like, and if there were nobody about, it was like tripod, you know. Yeah. And then I just, I just like hacked a copy of Final Cut off Alex. And uh, yeah, off we went. I'm just That's what I used to do. And then obviously, when I, halfway through riding for, for Mongoose, that's when I bumped into <coughs> uh, Will. Um, but obviously before that I'd done stuff with Alex for for um, Earthed yeah, yeah. A couple of pro- obviously that w- there is his projects and I did one for Red Bull when I first started riding for GT about four years ago and that was like that was hectic for me um, going back to your question about like having filmers and stuff that was like a Red Bull project like a Red Bull video right. the old world Okay. and that was the one that I'd, that was the first time that I'd had like there were oh, fuck, like nine nine people every day on that shoot for like nine days okay. and I was the only rider Jeez. and that was like hectic in was my that head. a lot of you like just a lot of pressure yeah and, just yeah, yeah I'm not, just yeah just pressure and just like and some like I don't say like I'm a control freak and stuff but I just like being able to do my own thing mm. and s- I mean it was good because it was organised and was going to like locations and there was always like good stuff to ride but it was just like sometimes when you when you wake up and you just can't be asked. Yeah, you know, I'd be like, "Well, I'll just go and do something." You know, like, just chill today. We'll take a, you know, yeah, wasn't really like that. And there was like, you know, fucking, you know, sound guy, drone guy, this guy, that guy. Can you can you just wait? This is one thing. It was like, can you just wait um, ten minutes till we get this sorted out and do that? And I'm like stood there going, "I want to get this. Like, I want to do this now." You know, yeah, what I mean, I want to like, I, I can't. When you want, when you want to do something, yeah, you're yeah. halfway through and you're like. You're on it, you know. Don't want a chance to think about it. Yeah, I sometimes, th- yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. as well, there's that horrible feeling of like, when you're with <laughs> one filmer and you mess up, you're like, sorry, mate, we'll have to go again. Yeah. That feels bad enough. And then when it's times nine, yeah. you're like, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. I just found myself getting a bit shitty, you yeah. know. Like, I think what, the one thing that I've, like, I'm really bad at, like, if I'm not enjoying something, it, it just shows. Yeah. I'm not that person who can just like 
if there's something on my mind, you've heard it already. And then I'm just like, oh shit, I've already said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Which yeah, is yeah. like, sometimes that's good. People like that. Sometimes they don't. And it's like, I can be a bit, yeah, just like, I don't know. It can, it can come off wrong sometimes, you know, like, yeah. but it's just like me being me, you know. Mm. Right, like, talk to us about the first project with Will Evans. <laughs> that's what I want to hear about because we, we, we have actually already mentioned it. Basically, this is my memory of it. It's water cycles. It was something that <coughs> stuck in my mind, dude. It stuck yeah. in my mind. To I didn't realise there was as much of a story about it. I watched it. 24 hours later, it came down. It was, yeah. one, it, it was probably uh, my favourite of your projects out of ones that you'd done. Yeah. At the time, I was really like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was. We put a lot... Yeah, we put a lot of effort into that, um, and it we, we and it was really cool. We did, it was very organic, like how we did it. It wasn't like structured in any way. We weren't like right, okay, we'd we've got five days to film. Will was pretty chilled. He had plenty of time. I had plenty of time. So I'd just go down down to Wales, like from Yorkshire, which is like three and a half hours. Go down there, spend like two or three days like shooting stuff, like but just going like to locations and only really getting bike out if we'd thought yeah. this is shit hot. Let's do this, you know. We spent a lot of time doing it. But so, uh, yeah, when when we got that finished, I was like mega psyched. I was like on it riding. Like I was felt like I was riding really well at that time yeah. as well. Like everything, I was just like proper confident. Everything was going really well. We got a really good video out of it and I'm just like, this is going to go mint. And it did go really bloody mint. <laughs> Apart from it went that good that it got hold of like Welsh tourism, got hold of it and put it up on there. Like I think it was like on their like main page, I think or something like that. But in a really positive, positive way. way, right? Yeah, and then the shit at the fan when the guy it, it was based in, it was based in London. This guy I don't really know, like, um, and he was like the guy that you go to to get like permission. <laughs> Already <laughs> you're thinking shit, are you? <laughs> <laughs> permission to go to these places that just so happened to be like places where they'd filmed like Batman, uh, Doctor Who. Right. And some of the like pretty serious, obviously like with massive budgets, like obviously where they'd gone through the, the non right gorilla. Channels, maybe. Amazing spots, aren't they? They're like yeah, all yeah, of some yeah. of the I mean, scenic yeah. spots. Yeah, I mean if you got like the Welsh tourist guide and opened it up, you imagine me on my bike in pretty much every one of them. That's yeah. what the water cycle was. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um <laughs> we there was some of the places like looking back on it, yeah, they might have been a little bit hot. And maybe we should have been thinking at the time. Mm, maybe, but we're not like we're not idiots. We didn't go in there wrecking the joint. We didn't go smashing stuff up. I remember taking a bag down to one of the spots and picking up a load of litter that we'd seen the day before. Yeah, I'm just like, right, when we come back tomorrow, I'm going to take a bag and take all that shit because that's like that's really bad. Mm. So we're not like we're not barbarians, you know. We went in, we we're like, let's just get our shot and go. And we we're just the stuff was like the riding stuff was some of it was like hard. But obviously we just got there and got the shot for more for the backdrop, you know, right, and for yeah. like the hero factor. Yeah. And then the other stuff that's like really technical, it was more like that was just legit, you know. And there was a couple of grey areas. Mm. But anyhow, the guy, actually the guy that did the music got the email because that was the only email that was actually on the video. Okay. <laughs> so we got <laughs> in the arse first. Um, so like <laughs> my mate rang up and said, oh, I've had this like really like pretty horrible message from this guy. Um, and he wants to know like who, who's like, produce this like you know like basically who was he going to nail to the math sort of thing you know like so like yeah eventually it came down like to me um and nick larson from he was like helping me through it and stuff because like it was pretty yeah. they were throwing some pretty serious shit accusations and whatever you know we're going to do this this and this they were just basically trying to scare us you know yeah so it, it just boiled down to like he wanted it taken down um and it's like if you don't do this we're going to these lawyers and oh, I, I just basically said literally said what it's like if you don't take it down in this amount of time we're going to do x y and z to you and i'm like all right then so what if i just don't take it down yeah i'm going to think about it i'll get back to you tomorrow like, not in an arrogant way i just literally that's yeah, what i yeah, said to yeah. i'm just like i'm gonna have a think about it i'll get back to you tomorrow i might take it down sort of thing but what i actually did i just took it down straight away um right. he didn't seem very savvy with the whole like youtube and all that sort of stuff um but I just thought, it's not just me, it's everybody else that's wanting to try and make videos. Um, and I thought, like, there must be a way around it. Maybe not a financial one, because that didn't seem to be what he wanted. Like, it didn't seem to be, that's what he was after. 
and obviously there wasn't anywhere because there wasn't any budget in, for it. Yeah, how interesting. Mm. Like, what <clears throat> is the reason for? I just think because we hadn't potentially gone down the right stuff and he thought that we were a lot bigger outfit than it actually was. Right. He thought that, that there was a production there. Right. But yeah. it actually, in fact, it was like, Will... It looks like it. Yeah, yeah well, that's it. Not. He's, yeah, he's yeah, probably yeah. thinking, this is like, you know, whatever, you know. Yeah. Just some Got a drone, so. just yeah, <laughs> just some big outfit that have gone in, and it's like you know they're wanting somebody's you know mm. somebody's head on a block for it, but literally mm. it was like Will and myself, and it, and I, I don't think he could figure that. Okay, so I just took so it how long down. Was it up for? Twenty four hours pop up video, yeah, mate. So it, happened, <laughs> so it happened this fast. All this stuff was happening. Yeah, in short like li- yeah, literally it went, went on your tourist board. It was getting obviously shared around the mountain. Yeah, by yeah, it, yeah. it did blow up. Blow, didn't it? yeah, it blew. Yeah, it went mental. Yeah. I what had did to it like go s- down with, like view what view count? Do you remember? I think it had been up for like twenty. I seem to think I always would say it was like twenty four hours. It might have been a little bit more, but I think it was twenty four hours. Yeah, and I I think it was like two hundred and fifty thousand, but it yeah. might have been more. I seem to think it was around. Right, it was that. aggressive. It was, yeah. I think back then there was less content, yeah. so the stuff that really blew up really. Yeah, blew up hard, I mean, it was on. Tra- I think it was on track to like do really yeah, well yeah it was going to get know. really good and it was a long video as well it wasn't like a three and a half minute it was like yeah. eight minutes long yeah. you yeah. know it was a lot I mean people's attention spans there were probably a little bit longer yeah. but like it was you know I feel it was good enough mm. you know there's a lot of good stuff in there mm. so it was re- what was really annoying about it is like so, like the Pembroke the guy from Pembroke Council uh, uh, coastline guy there's like the last shot in it was like pretty pretty sick like you know pretty horrible <laughs> yeah. for me to do it life of death shit, you know, like literally. And um, I did that and he was like pretty sort of all right about it. But it was this other guy that was like putting a lot of heat on it. Yeah. So he was, he was basically, he was like basically like, this is what you should do. This is, and he was like getting in contact with other people. There was a lot of other shit that could have kicked off as well. Mm. So I just said, right, okay. But he was into it. So I said, right, let's find, let's go for it. Alternative locations and let's go big disclaimer you know this was done under the strict you know yeah. blah, blah 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 the welsh tourist board or something like that you know um this with this guy i can't remember who he worked for but it was something like that and it was just the co- and it's like oh no let's just we'd like to do something potentially in the future and i'm just like this is going nowhere i'm just like no fuck it it's down like and everybody kept coming up even like danny said like you should put it back up and stuff and i'm just like no i'm just i'm done with it like yeah. you know i've done it it was it was funny if you want to find it, it's there. It's like, you know, what can you do? I'm not going to like, I just thought if I started messing around doing stuff like that, even putting clips up or moving it, I was like, should I re-edit it? Like go and shoot some other stuff somewhere else. I was like, it's just no point. It's done its thing. It's like, it It was sort of like, you had to look at it and just laugh, you know, it's like, mm. and I don't want anybody to get in trouble. And I didn't want my life making more difficult more in the difficult, future for doing yeah. stuff. Because yeah. I thought like, if he was savvy, savvy enough, he could have gone back through my videos and seen some other shit that we'd done in Wales and he'd been like, so he wasn't that <laughs> clever. <true>. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I know that there's definitely some stuff in there which he wouldn't have liked and it was definitely in <laughs> Wales. <laughs> but he obviously wasn't that. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's only going to get tricky, you know, so we've got, you've got to be careful. But yeah, you look on YouTube, there's so much shit from Wales and like other stuff that, you know. Mm. I mean, one of the things he said was like, he sort of tried to guilt trip me a bit. And like, what happens if somebody goes and tries it and like kills herself? I'm like, have you seen YouTube? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if you like went, if you, people went out and did stuff that you saw on YouTube, like That's true, nobody yeah. left like in the pond. Skydiving, it's quite dangerous. People yeah. do that all the time. <laughs> also, I don't feel like there's much stuff in that edit that's like, God, I want to try that now. Chris has done this. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it'd be more people walking there just to go, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's leave the bikes in the van for this one. What, um, so yeah, there's two ways we could go about this at the moment, I think, because uh, the natural question is, can you put the video back up? The, the other side of it is the video is actually there for someone to watch. Yeah, if you want to watch if it. If people do want to find it, it's actually on YouTube, but it's not on your channel. So it's, it kind I, of feels I, weird I would, to promote I would, something. I, tr- I mean, this is the other thing that we like touched on last night Yeah, when we were chatting, is like, that was the first time, and this is quite a long time ago, and this was the first time, like, it was like, take it down. I'm like, you try to take something down that's gone up on YouTube at that point as well. Cause like, I mean, at that point there was a lot of people like ripping stuff and putting shit up and it was like, yeah, as soon as that's gone, it's on like pink bike and all that other shit. I had to like send them emails saying just, just could you just take it off there just because we're getting a bit of heat at the moment. We might be able to sort it out. Yeah. Can you just take it down? And, and like there were people online that 
but people on YouTube had obviously ripped it straight away mm. and obviously they reposted it and we were just having to send them like just like just polite you know polite just say look you've ripped it you've put it up there I'm gaining the shit at the moment or potentially could can you just take it down we just need to like just yeah late chill yeah so it's fucking annoying isn't it when someone just blatantly rips it off and like just puts it straight up quick as well yeah that's what I was like it's yeah, like, somebody Christ. has the present their mind to like rip it and put something up like that. Yeah. Quick. But I guess if something's getting numbers, whether they see that and just think, oh, do you know what? I can get it up on my channel. Even if I get it up for a small amount of time, I'm going to get some numbers on it. I don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah. that was the first time it's like you realise what sort of beast you're dealing with there. Yes, yeah, so. dude, big time. But um, So yeah, I mean, people can go find it, I guess, if they really want to. Um, we went on the same channel last night and watched another video of yours. Um. Oh, <laughs> mate, gnarly, honestly. Uh, he uh, ripped off loads of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah. yeah, this guy's got a lot of your content. And it was you riding a bike. Uh, I can't remember the video title, but we spoke, we've spoke. we spoke about like, oh. what would you do to bikes to make them better? Th this particular video, you'd taken things off. And we're going to find out what you took off the bike after this ad. Davey, I want to talk to you about hindsight, dude. Oh. Right. Hindsight. So on. much bike crime happens in the UK. Mm. And I dread to think how many people think, oh, I listened to that lacquer ad on the Ride Companion and I wish I'd just carried it out, got insurance for my bike. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, mate. You're right. So we're here to help, are we? Or is that what we're going to do? Well, we are here to help. But yeah. I, what, I was, what I was kind of thinking was, I wish I could do the same with health insurance. Oh. You know what I mean? Because I'm banged up. I wish I could have just... Yeah, wish I... Yeah, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Should, uh, that's how I feel right now. A lot now. of people live shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah, and so many people do with bike theft and pr like I am right now, wishing Hindsight that is a gnarly thing, isn't it? It because is, sometimes it is, you're dude, like, yeah. Let's say, unfortunately, you have a bike stolen or you get injured and you just think, oh, imagine that time when I was sat in a chair yeah. on the website, yeah. ready to do it, and all I needed was maybe like a bit of a nudge, a bit of a deal, yeah. which we can offer. Well, for, for bikes, obviously, yeah. you go to Lacquer. What do you do for health? Because that's obviously... A well, yes, you can also go to Lacquer. I didn't know this either until recently, dude, but Lacquer now hoth offers health and recovery insurance. So, what? do you want a couple of facts? I'd love a couple of facts. It's not already in my bike cover, is it? It could be. Depends which bike cover you've got. Okay. It Carry could be. on. So, it's a new kind of recovery policy for mind and body. Right. Made with cyclists in mind for less than an Americano a week. Depends where you get your Americanos from. They're only like, what? A couple of quid? A couple of quid. <laughs> <laughs> Cover that goes wherever you do, which is worldwide, like you, Mr. Oh, worldwide. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't want to ask. Of mountain biking. I didn't want to ask a question. Yeah, okay. Thanks for doing it. Cover me. that does whatever you do, which is cycling. You? I like cycling, yeah. Skiing. Not got the bunts for maybe. skiing. Maybe. But maybe one day, you never Hiking. Know. Hiking, I like hiking. Right, I've hiking. been doing a lot of it lately, I'll Surfing. tell you. Surfing. <laughs> Surfing, I'd love to be able to Big surf, surf I need guy. to swim first. Yeah. But it's good to know. And jet skiing. Jet skiing's on there. Are you serious? Yeah, you got a jet ski. They put jet ski on there? Yeah, you got a jet ski oh on there. Gosh. Uh, it's five-star claims experience, home or abroad. And it's made super simple, dude. All you have to do, head to lacquer.co. Obviously, we talk about lacquer.co quite a lot. Lacquer.co. They do the best bike insurance. It's made super simple. They flipped insurance on its head, okay? Mm -hmm. They don't charge you a fixed sum every month. You only pay for what the collective has sort of, uh, what would you say? Dealt with. Yes, exactly. So you And the same it. goes for health as well, does it? Same goes for health as well, does it? Wow, yes, that it is does. A, a cool model, that is. Yeah, yeah. really cool. It's, uh, mate, I love Lacquer.co. I'm glad we've got them back on board. Mm. And we have got a bit of a deal for the companionship, right? So all they have to do, head to Lacquer.co to sort your bike insurance out. Enter the code RIDECOMPANION30. What well, is it? RIDECOMPANION30. Is that lowercase? Uppercase. All and it's up on the screen. It's flashing red and blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Ride Companion 30 <laughs> at lacquer.co. <laughs> there you go. And what do you get for that? What is it like? like what's the offer? You're going to get 30 days free bike insurance. Free so of 30 it's, days. It's free. 30 days, you have 100% peace of mind for free. Man, that's a dream, really, isn't it? It's really good. Yeah. You could be really cavalier. Yeah, you in those can. 30 days. Yeah, you shouldn't be. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, good point. But you could. So, yeah, that's 30 days, free insurance, bike insurance, not health and yep. uh, wellness, 
with code RIDECOMPANION30 that's flashing red and blue at lacquer.co. Amazing. So good to know they do health insurance. I'm going to get that added onto my policy you right should. away. Great ad break. That was good. It was, that was nice. the best one, that one, best, one, best one for a while. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we watched the video, and you were riding trials with no brakes. Dangerous stuff. Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what was your guess? <laughs> yeah, you had a guess because we spoke about this over dinner yeah. last night. Well, my, only, my guess comes from... I like watching you do really difficult things because it's all like pedal timey and it's all, you can tell that you want it to be perfect and for it to flow. And that was my guess was that you would want to eliminate all kind of the classic. (laughs) That's quite good. Trials. It was good, really good. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was back in a comp then. Yeah, (laughs) right. But I, I thought that was what you were trying to eliminate. So taking your brakes off would just bring, that was my guess. The fluidity. Yeah. I guess that was a side effect afterwards. Right. Um, but the actual reason was I'd had an injury um, and I was like struggling to like get motivation to like get back on my bike, I think. just I think I just had a bit of one of them moments where I just had probably a little bit longer than I should have had off the bike and had an injury that just kept going on. I'm sure it was like, my sh- I came to think it was like my shoulder. Right. Some, it's irrelevant. Um, so I was like having problems and I thought, Do you know what? I'm just going to take my brakes off my bike. And then that'll just, it'll be different. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, so I'm just like, that's a really cool idea. Let's do that because that'll be really dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> so like, but I didn't just take them off. I got the grinder out and ground my mounts off my frame and everything. I want just like, I want messing. You're all in. Yeah. Man. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Red. <laughs> <laughs> everything. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I went for it full, yeah, just full throttle. Like, yeah. I really regret doing that to that frame. But anyway, just because it just looked, you know, like yeah. grips. No cables, no mounts. I think I even sprayed my bike and everything. Like it was you know, like orange. Sp- the one we were watching. Yeah, yeah I did Ori- two clothes. Like- there was an orange one and a teal one. It was the same bike, but I used to spray them all the time back then. Okay, but I painted everything. Everything the same. Yeah, like it just because it was like almost like you know, BMX sort of inspired. Yeah, yeah. you know, like really clean everything. You know, just ground everything off. Just oh, lovely. It's, yeah, makes me. Yeah, I love it even now thinking about it. But yeah, that it, but the side effect, I mean, it was really wild. The first first sort of time I started riding it, it was like really not the thing you should do when you're coming back from an injury. You have a bike that's really horrible to ride and dangerous, especially when like, you're on a free wheel. It's not like a fix where you could have got yeah. a little bit of an element of like, you know, some of control. control. Mm. Um, but yeah, that really taught me a lot about acceleration, deceleration, catching like really small backsides and stuff, timing, um just can't really like you know control really yeah you yeah. know like trying to control your speed knowing that you had to just hit that little backside of that and then yeah just very intricate I bet, and man, everything's I bet. like you know everything's on your on your pedal um on your chain tension as well if you're right. doing stuff yeah, like that yeah, yeah. And as soon as you go too far you're like out the back door like you know you have got it's to a be quick like, backflip you've got well, to be on it, it. Quick, committed quick as well ejection. yeah committed so what videos did you do with that? What were they called? <laughs> did you do any sections? So much stupid, probably. I'd pro- like I can't um, imagine. What you didn't shoot do. with ranking with no brakes, did you? No, I sh- no, I, th- I think no. I'm no, it was a very correct. similar bike, though. I guess yeah. it was around. It would have been a similar sort of time ish. Um, God, what was the video? I actually can't remember now. Yeah, I did a couple. I no, think I we'll actually did two videos. Two breakless videos. One was a bit more street and one was a bit more natural, I think. Yeah. I can't imagine what it was. One we watched last night was just attempts at getting up a rock face. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was... It's like a hill in... It's called like a hill in Wales or a hill... It was something like that. Step of death, was it? Something like that. Yeah, sorry, yes. Yeah, Yeah, of course. Yeah, it was, yeah. The step of death. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, that was funny, that. Yeah. But the the edits definitely... So it taught you something. Yeah. And then you oh, moved massive, on. Yeah, massively, yeah. Moved on, never touched that bike again. No, I never did it again. <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking about it the other day, and it's just like, I think, it, yeah, it, just, it was just a time and a place. But I did it for quite a while. It wasn't just like a, you know, flashing pan sort of thing. I did it for a while. Yeah. It was, yeah, really interesting. Mm. Yeah, really, really interesting. I mean, it's like guys ride brakeless now, don't they, all the time? Like, just 100% of the time, BMX. Yeah. You know? It's but true. I guess trials... Doesn't really lend itself to brakeless, though. <laughs> no. In its nature. Yeah. <laughs> but if you can get a section perfect, then I yeah. can imagine that it almost does. But, like like what you, but what you said earlier is absolutely on the money. Because like if you're doing a, like doing a, 
a section, not a section, but you know, a section, a line, whichever. And if you've got that, like, you have got that break there, you're probably going to use it, aren't you? you yeah. Know? And it's going to just, look. just going to, just going to mm. jolt it a little bit. So yeah, sometimes it's really hard not to touch your brakes, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's very hard not to touch your brakes. Like, you know, you've got to really, I, I try to do it. I, I've done it a little bit recently, like where you just, you just do that death grip, you know, like you just go, right. I like that. It's quite a nice little thing sometimes. Yeah. And you just go, right, this is all right. But I think if you do it death grip, you, you have to do it smoothly. Because if you don't, you, you're on your ass. I think when I watch your edits and there's a bit, maybe it's in between two lines that you include. And I think oh, I could do that bit. <laughs> Bear in mind, I'm saying it's in between two <laughs> actual difficult bits. But I know I wouldn't make it look the same way, and it's because of. I feel like you, you've got like some pedal timing thing, or like there's something going on that would make it look really crap if I did it. Like really, like mm. yeah. whacking into a rock, breaking, like all yeah. of that. There's something real nice about the way you find your Thank way you. through yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, I do take, I, I take a bit of pride in that. I guess that's something that I really, you know, there's it. It don't. It's not a fluke. You know, I do think about it a lot. And a lot of the time, I will ride switch. And a lot of time, it's like you start, like a lot of the times, you can get away with just starting switch. Right. And it's like, because the first move generally is, a, like, you know, you wait and all of a sudden then you're doing a pedal. So you're out of like, t t some t a lot of the time, you're out of sync straight away. So if you just take it back and go, right, okay, start switch. Let's have yeah. a go. See where we're at, you know. Or if you land, if you just keep finding that you're landing and you're like fucking three quarters, like, you know, like 10 past two or whatever, or you just, you know, all of it joint, then you just go, all right, okay, so it's not only like, do I need to start switching, I need to start switch high. Yeah. So it can get to that point where it's just like, I need to be at this point high. Yeah, and then, man, so man. then when I'm there, I'm like, it's, have you I mean, always it's, done that? As, you know, from early stage of riding trials, <laughs> have you always thought like that? Or man, is it something I've, that you progress so as you get like, annoying. like when I used to go to trials comps, Oh, when I used to go, when I, I remember riding with Martin Oz, and he won't mind me saying this, like it used to be really funny. So, like you'd have like a side up or something like that. So you'd go into it, and you'd generally just do your strong foot, your best way. Yeah. So you'd come into it. I'd do it like my way, left. I'm left foot forward. Okay. Side up right, and then I'd come into it, but then I'd do it. I'd come in right foot forward, and then do it like that, and then do it the opposite way around, left, and then do it opposite <laughs> way right around. <laughs> Or like in comps, I'd come into it and, do, but then it seems silly at that point. It you know, like it seems silly, but doing it because I was just trying to piss him off, basically. <laughs> you know, like because he'd be struggling, like doing it his way, his, his strong way. I'd be yeah. like, I mean, the worst one to do, like if you ever want to really piss somebody off, is get their bike and do it on their bike, their way. <laughs> I've done that before <laughs> as well. That really gets the gut. But anyway, <laughs> didn't know it's trash talking trials, man. <laughs> no, yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, back to my point, like, but that does pay off sometimes because if you're in, if you're in like a comp situation, which I did use a couple of times, where you literally can't do it that way around, mm. you've got that in your arsenal. You can come into it and just go, well, if I, there's no physical way I can do it my way, so I've got to be doing it out, you know, right foot foot. Yeah. However you need to do it, you're in a really shitty angled or whatever. Yeah. You can just go, well, I actually know how to do it. I can side up switch, you know, and I can okay. side up my opposite way. It's just like being able to like, so you've got a really awkward, so you can't write your name like because you, your left hand, your right hand's like you can just oh my left arm's nice and free, and you can write left-handed. So it's like a um, bit not like saying I'm like Ronnie or Sullivan, but like it's there's there's a nice yeah it makes sense you know it's like it's there's nice mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a nice thing to be able to like use. I'm not saying that I'm a, as good left foot right foot, but I'm quite happy no, to I've got do. You. Both. I think it's cool. It's, it's just a, one of those little intricacies that people. <laughs> might never notice but once you have noticed it we watched the video last night and you were like watch it he's gone switch there gone back normal switch again normal it was just over some rocks yeah that? yeah it was well interesting and it's like once you've noticed it you're just like oh my god i think a lot there's of it as well like, hard to get those little intricacies across there yeah, isn't it like, it's is really yeah yeah unless i mean once you you like, notice it but someone yeah, else like me massively. originally was yeah. i didn't see that ollie spotted it and then we're yeah. like oh my god yeah or if i if like i've watched stuff back sometimes like videos that I've done and I've done like half a pedal back and I've like had to go into the bathroom and be sick because I'm just like oh my god what were you doing there like literally that's like, bad is it the half pedal I just, back I uh, just I don't know why I just wow. got a thing I think it's like probably some like weird OCD thing that I just 
Anyway, you know, <laughs> I I prefer to like do some like weird like slow pedal to switch them, okay. or like just lift my back wheel up and just do a forward pedal and, and yeah, switch back. That's well interesting. That I love yeah. that. <laughs> but I mean, it, I'm sorry, like there is a, there is an other like a it has gone like when you were saying that how long has it been going on? So when I grew up sort of getting into pushback trials when I was on my 20 inch mm. I didn't ride with anybody else I was sort of like self-taught in a way yeah. um, but like when I bumped into Martin and started riding with them they were both they'd both watch trials been to trials both practiced together they were both right foot forward so they were like already built that light so you go in you're right foot forward you do this Yeah. and I'd be coming in and watching them and I'd be like so how are you doing that then how come you're doing that they're like oh yeah it's one pedal from here right foot forward so I'd come in naturally you were always like one str- when you were a kid you d- you probably don't notice it but you you already decided at that point it's like right and right or left and it? yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you you don't even know it at that point you're left foot forward or right foot forward so I was left foot forward okay. so I'd be coming in and they'd be like oh but yeah how, how am I not doing this oh you just need to do like two pedals from here and I'd be like all right so right foot forward and doing it like they'd be doing it and they're just like Chris you're left foot forward though I'd be like, oh, am I? <laughs> <laughs> and then That's it started. Cool, then ah. it started just being, and I'd think it was just like, I just didn't know because I didn't have a technique. I didn't yeah. know what I was doing right or wrong, but I'd just switch all the time. Yeah. So it's already like, oh, I didn't. Yeah. I wonder what that is. Being I'm ambidextrous. Trying, yeah, it's like if you have never seen a skateboard before, but yet someone puts one in front of you, you will stand on it a specific way. Yeah. Yeah. And that yeah, feels yeah. natural, yeah. even though you don't know. They say is, you check by pushing someone over. Yeah. Just like lightly, and you see which foot they go on to. But I, I find it mega interesting because left foot forward's regular in uh, like snowboarding, skateboarding. Okay. Ma- biking, left foot forward is regular, but it does seem like there's more right foot forward people. I'd love to know what it is. Comment section, brain. right or left. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've never even thought of it that way. Yeah, because I'm. I'm left foot forward. You you're really? left foot forward. So yeah, you're, re- you're on a reg- skateboard, right regular. foot forward. No, I'm left foot forward on a skateboard, left foot forward on a snowboard. That's all. Left foot forward oh on a bike. <laughs> See, I'm and right yeah. foot forward on a skateboard. Yeah. And then I turn... Oh, I'm not, no. I'm not. I turn right in a spin, because then if you turn right in a spin and you're left foot forward, then you table. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I've got, I got a funny story about like the left and right foot, <laughs> like, spinny things. Yeah. I remember... Um, I stood him for Martin Ashton on one of his um, uh, animal yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tours, demos, because yeah. I think he was injured and he'd broken his arm or something, probably couldn't get that. I stood him for quite a lot of them, actually, lucky enough. He's taken uh, Martin's shoes. Not, not for the f- not, wouldn't be the first time. Last time, <laughs> sorry. Um, anyway, digress. Um, yeah, so he's like on his, on, his, um, on his rig, he's got some bars where he does like a, a 180 on them bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like... Oh, Shit, he does that thing on them bars. So I went down the road from my house at the time and there was like a wall, quite a thin wall. And I sat on top of this wall. I thought, right, I'll go down there and practice 180s on this wall and just do a load. Do you that have a dog there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Give it context. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, so I was like, on this wall, I thought, if I do a load on this wall, that's like where I could do like a load of them and just get really comfortable just doing with a bit of height either side. There's a bit of, you know, river down side or whatever. Bit of consequence, so like I had to concentrate to turn on. Yeah. So I get to there, ride along this wall. I'm like, gets to it, just about to do a 180. I'm just like, fuck, which way did I do a 180 then? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to ring, I rung Martin up. I'm like, Martin, <laughs> just a quick one. Which way should I 180? Like, I don't, I can't just think of which one. He's like, um, I think it's right. He's like, all oh, right, right. Yeah, so like I started doing it right or whatever. I couldn't do it. And I was trying it um, left foot forward, which is my way, which you'd think, yeah. or left or whichever. So I was like, I couldn't, I just wasn't working. So I just started doing it right foot. And then I was like, all oh, right, it works now. So, I, so I you're do doing it right foot forward, turning right? Yeah. <laughs> so on my, on the stuff that I do, like if I do a gap jump, like a 180 gap jump, I always do it right foot forward. Oh, mate, that is so confusing. I oh, wait, that, if I was to 180, conf- I'd right foot forward, turn right. Well, there's no, there's actually no right or wrong no. answer. That's what's no. no it's just, it's you can't, just I can't compute when you're saying left foot forward, spin right. Right, okay. This I'm is going like, on a bit too. No, I don't, I don't no. think about it. I just do whatever. No. This is what like when we used to do like just freestyle. That used to be the best way because if I start overthinking it, I'm shit. Like yeah, spe- that's especially in some stuff where like when I used to do like comp stuff. People would be just like, how are you doing this, Chris, when you get into it? I'm just like, 
haven't a clue. Have mm. not a clue. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people do it, and I don't know how I'm going to do it. What I'm going to do is rush back to my bike <laughs> and then come in and surprise myself. <laughs> Just like the element of surprise, you know, like when you like, are you ready to order? Yeah, I can be. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like it's like, oh shit, Chris, you should have really looked at this. It's like, and all of a sudden, you don't even think about it. You just do it because it's like, it's almost like when you're riding a trail mm. and something really unexpected comes out on it. You don't like, mm. you just react, you don't you? Stand. And you yeah, and you, yeah. you can if you're a decent rider, you, you just you all of a sudden you figure it out, don't you? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, it's. I, I think I, my obsession with it comes from like being at trails at dirt jumps and people like BMX is doing like look back th threes like Aitken does a look back you have to have your feet in the right position because mm. obviously a turn down's that way so you do it with your spin mm. or a look back against against your spin okay so, so it makes it does make a difference where like a massive difference where yeah. your feet are okay it's like if you want to learn certain tricks then you have to have your feet a certain way and stuff but I've oh never God. put my. I'm not going to be able to ride my bike again with all this on my head. I know, eh? I really make it complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I've ridden for a while as well. I'm going to go back Where'd and forget. <laughs> You're a bugger. You're never going to be like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. What's your current take on like the world of trials? Do you keep an eye on it? Do you think it's, is it in a good place? I wouldn't. I mean, not a lot of things are in a good place at the moment with the bike industry, but. Um, Honest answer up until what I mean, I see Jack. Yeah. You know, he's a phenomenal rider. He's nuts on the bike, you know. Mm. Like, um, you know, but I don't follow it. Okay. Um, I watched it this uh, last year, sorry. That was the first time I'd watched it. And, I, and honestly, my mum rang me up and she said, oh, I don't understand what's going on. And I was like, how do I? I mean, are they like into it as well? Like they'll watch. Motor well, yeah, because I mean, they they followed like me around for years. They're into yeah. it and stuff. And obviously, it was on the telly, and it was like you know, it's amazing that it's on telly. Like you know, brilliant for the sport, mm. um, and it's an amazing sport. It's very you know, you can have a captive audience. It's nuts, mm. but obviously they changed the rules and stuff. I didn't really know what's going on, but the riding was fun. You know, like it's you know, I watched it, and it's just it's so far removed from what I did. Yeah, I totally like you know they're amazing riders. You know. Mm. Um, but yeah, I don't follow it. Okay. So okay. The, the vertical people can get up now is really crazy. Oh, it's, it? yeah, it's mental. So yeah. basically, oops, sorry, yeah. So it, it basically looks like if you can get your front wheel over an edge now, yeah, which can be above head height, <coughs> then Massive, you can. Yeah. Is that like a technique that wasn't around when? Um. Yeah, but in a lesser way. Yeah. But like, the bikes enable it. The bike design just enables it. Now they've got it all set up. You know, that's like, it's, you know, it's just uh, the bikes enable it. You wouldn't be able to do that on a classic trials, like an old school trials right. bike. Why is that? What what in the bike enables it? Well, it's just the design of it and how like the bars are and all that jazz. I mean, you used to, like you could do it back, you know, like on an old, an older style bike. Yeah. But not to what, I can't imagine, you know, I don't, I think it's like the bike's so tailored to it, you know, how the bottom bracket height is. Yeah. Do you know so what? it's I'm just not even made like, vertical. Yeah. The bike is like, yeah, the can, geometry yeah, is kicked yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not been on one, but they look, they look wacky. Mad, they? Don't they? Yeah. I, I would, I'll be honest. I think they look really bad. Trials yeah. bikes now look really bad, like the height of the BB. But that's for me, for someone who can't do it. So I think obviously. it's always looked a little bit. I think it's always looked a little bit like I've had a bit of a trials had a bit of an identity crisis. I think all the time. Right. I think maybe. Okay. I mean, for me, like the bikes that I like to look, I would like the really early. Um, like 20 inches with it, like a bash plate. Yeah. yeah. Probably because I'm from a motorbike background, it's just like, oh yeah, proper bash part. Yeah. You know, my big first... Big back wheel. Yeah, big back wheel. Yeah, that's like, you know, classic. My first, I remember my dad bringing me on like a Montessa that had like a little bash guard on it and stuff like, they were talking like, this is a long, long time True. ago, obviously. Mm. But I was like, when that bike landed, I was just like, holy Dude. shit, this is amazing. The Op P one. That was the one I, I think I had. Yeah. The yeah. B219. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. So trick. Yeah. 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 But it, it was so it, it was imitating a motorcycle, wasn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, long, long fork like the triple crown, yeah, triple yeah, crown yeah. forks, big back tire, bash yeah. plate. Yeah. Mm. Different. I do like the look. I like the modern like street trials bikes. Pretty cool. Like yeah, inspired that's and true, stuff yeah. that like dunk. Yeah. And really BMXy, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah really BMXy. They look also BMXy, but it's also a little bit dirt jump looking. Yeah, to me, like I, I don't know, I do like them. I think they're like, they're nice and clean, like we were saying before, just yeah, clean yeah, lines, yeah, I just yeah, look pretty. Yeah, I had a quick go on. I had a quick go on Danny's Royal Rump car park, and I was like, wow, 
this is like really interesting. I wish like I'd probably had one of these. Like, surprising you've not got one. No, yeah. really surprising no. that you don't it have doesn't, one. It doesn't. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything for me anymore. Yeah. I like it's not. It, I don't particularly like. I never ride straight ever. Mm, mm. The only stuff I ever ride, like if there's anything like that, is like when I find like a horrible, shitty derelict thing. <laughs> <laughs> which is like you know like one of martin's favorite things to talk about <laughs> like when he it's just like why did you like it? I, I don't i do not know why i like it right. it's just awesome that just dereliction horrible stuff to ride yeah 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 it's like is there yeah. have you exhausted everywhere from that bit of your <laughs> around your house like you they've must all have been ridden. either knocked down or turned into trendy flats everything yeah like everything like, oh man i ridden. remember one time I was filming with Alex. Mm. He's so Benny Hill is this. <laughs> we were, we'd got into this, um, I don't know what it was, a disused fact, like disused factory in Yorkshire. Big, yeah. really big one. Yeah. Like prop. I don't know what it used to be. Probably something really horrible and toxic. <laughs> <laughs> and we were in there shooting um, uh, behind the lens, I think Alex was shooting at the time, Alex Rankin. Mm. And um, we'd fin- we'd actually, luckily we'd finished. And... Um, We'd had to like scale this big wall and Alex had to pass all the shit over this big wall. And so we knew we were like walled in and we heard like voices. And I'm just like, oh shit. Like, you know, we shouldn't be, obviously shouldn't have been in there really. Um, And we're like, we looked through one of the doors and there were like a load of dudes in like, you know, high vases and clipboards and everything. I'm just like, we're going to get bollocked here. Like, you know, big (laughs) style. And we can't just like run out because it's like this wall. So we were like hiding there. Then they'd go into one room. Then we'd like try to find a walk through in this bit and we were just like, (laughs) <laughs> and we'd scuttle across and then like we'd hear him in another room and oh man it was like just one of them moments like we got out and like giggling like little schoolgirls <laughs> back to car it's so funny you know what Alex is like as well he found it absolutely hilarious that's like, brilliant yeah, loving it funny is there anywhere that like you haven't ridden that you want to ride like mm-hmm. a good question place um, on the map that's like yeah I've Can never like yeah like Canada I've never been to Canada I think that's like I'd love to go there there's okay. lots of bit of cool stuff there yeah and like Utah, I've never been to Utah, and I think like a lot oh of people wow. said that'd be pretty cool there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's probably quite a lot of stuff, but mm. yeah, I don't know. Like, there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing that okay. really. St- I'm not your. I want to go to Whistler type of guy. Right. Do you know what I mean? No, you want to go to Whistler. But oh, where's the really go good, up the bit where the chairlift where goes and no one else rides? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. The amount of trips that I've been on, and just like, oh, we've got. Um, we're going to this bike park this afternoon to do like a section with you, Chris. I'm just like, why would you want to do that? Yeah. Or like this, get to like somewhere that there's a load of big dirt jumps and I'll rest at like, you know, being on teams, we'll rest at team, just go, oh, sick, let's go do some jumps and all this. And I'm just like, not for you. We're going to, we're going to film you this afternoon, Chris. Are you not, are you not riding the dirt jumps? Um, I'm not a dirt jumper. <laughs> you know, like if you want to come like and ride my shit, you're quite welcome to, but yeah. I don't like that's done. It's never like, you know, I've ridden trails when I was younger a little bit. I've got photos when I look at when I watch back some videos and stuff. And I'm just like, fuck, I know. I used to be like pretty mm. decent on a BMX and I could do some tricks. And I did. I'd have been upside down and I'm just like, but it's not for me. I don't, right. you know, I never, pursu- I'd done it. I was like, tick, yeah. but never found like it. I think it's really cool though, man, that you've got this tool, the bicycle, and you can ride it like, you can find fun everywhere. Yeah. Whereas, you know, some people, like you said, they need a dirt jump, which needs land and time to build. And it feels like you can be like, oh, I just can go in this car park and just yeah, hang out, yeah. you know, just have fun and find a little bit. It's, it's a bit more like skatey. It's a bit more like skateboard. <coughs> but you're like the Rodney Mullen of like... I think it was like, <laughs> like growing up, I always used to just always sort of... I remember like there'd be a building site near my house when I was younger when I had that... Like, mm. like small Montessa mm. and it's like building site I just used to go and play on there you know like when they were just they'd bring stuff in like some days there'd be rafters there so you'd try ride over them some yeah. days there'd be like loads of bricks been delivered mint I'll ride that <laughs> and it was like then then it oh, were like finished I'm just like shit what have you done this was like my playground you know like <laughs> everybody was all kids are going around corner to the actual like you know yeah. swings and things and I'm just like oh I'm going oh I really like it's really cool it's really dangerous like and then just yeah just remember using like my dad's black and decker workmate and a spare wheel in back garden you know just wedging them like that and playing on that and just it's cool playing on a curb at the end of the street you know yeah. just just playing it for hours yeah. when people say they can't find stuff to ride i'm just like like if I, I wish i knew like how many hours like in total i'd played on a you know curb at the bottom of the street just doing i bet it's super important too like for just learning bike control and yeah you know 
for for the youth then. Probably a really good thing just to dial Too in all right. that stuff. And bear in mind, you've won Masters National Champ downhill. Is that correct? Yeah, I think, yeah. Will messaged me. I was just looking through the messages of different things. <laughs> he was like, ask him about that because no one would even know that you've raced downhill. Yeah, or. I had like, yeah, I had a brief spell racing downhill and like mega avalanche and stuff. Mm, yeah, so I loved that. Yeah, so yeah. far far from yeah. curbs, spending hours on a curb. Yeah, it's, it's completely the same thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was completely different riding curbs, yeah. A lot faster. <laughs> 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 no, it was good. Yeah, I had a really like decent stint in that, actually. I rode like, yeah, quite a lot of, I think it was like one, might have been, might have been two years of like, Dave Ooh. Waldell took me under his wing. Oh, cool. I used to ride with him quite a lot because yeah. he was like, was he riding for Mongo? So GT at the time. Anyway, we spent a bit of time together and yeah, so I rode with him quite a lot and that was quite fun. Yeah. Yeah, I did, yeah, just some Masters downhill yeah i can't i didn't i didn't think i think i like lost one or something that's right. like one at rounds what what like skills cross over yeah it's interesting isn't like, it? yeah the thing is, i've always be been like quite a fast rider though i think like okay. so, so the I was speed's like, not an issue i was with, I was with jones the other day in um back to wales yeah we were all right to be there <laughs> 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 and he was like so he was like saying because we were doing some like faster stuff down some uh, you know, it's like, oh, right, are we, are we finished? Can kind of crack on? Mm. And then he's like, fuck, you can ride fast, can't you? And I'm like, well, yeah, but nobody ever sees me riding fast because I never, I don't have, you know, if I put my phone on a, on a yeah, stick. Yeah, you're not going to leave it back. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so that's I'm gonna, reason. I'm going to be like half a mile down the road and never <laughs> come back to it. It's like, it's not going to really, shot, gonna make technologies let you down. It's you not, yeah, it's not, it's not going to make for really great viewing, is it? It just, it, yeah, I think, yeah, it's, I mean, if you, there's probably videos, I'm just trying to think, there is like videos, I think, that are out there that I've been riding fairly fast, so, Sick. but like, if it's a technical, it has to be, like, for me to do well at something like that, if it's super technical and horrible, yeah, that's all right. That's good, yeah. Because I went to, <clears throat> I went to Fort William when we were doing the, I can't remember what that series is, the downhill series, whatever it is, like, it'd be the British... Yeah, national. What national. was it? NPS point series. Yeah, was it? yeah, it could have been that. Yeah, I was doing that, and one of the one of them was um, Fort William. BDS, yeah, BDS. B, yeah, yeah, and um, went to Fort William, and I got down after a run. I thought, oh, that's fuck. That was pretty quick. Looked at time, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Has my have I have they even like? What's got, have they stopped that? Like, I'm looking at you thinking, I can't be that slow. Like, you know, <laughs> looking at you thinking, I was like, not thinking that was like fast, but like, thought, man, that was, I felt pretty decent yeah, yeah, on that, yeah. you know? And I looked at it and I was just like, wow, I'm shit slow. Like, you know, and I think that's when I realized, like, them top boys. I mean, I, I really like downhill. I really, that's like mm. MotoGP and downhill is like pretty much the only two sports that I actually really follow and watch. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. I'm like, I don't even really watch any motorcycle trials. I've just started getting back into it. But yeah, religiously, yeah, downhill and more GP. Other than that, not really interested. Huh. So, and 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 we and I tried. Well, not we'd always try to get to one pretty much every year. Okay, we have done quite a while. What a World so Cup! World Cup, yeah, oh, cool. like to get yeah because it's good just seeing everybody. You know, yeah, yeah. Doing it a long time. I like going out and seeing the guys. You know, yeah. Know quite a lot of guys on that circuit, so it's cool just to go and say hello and get yeah, really too, drunk. Right. Heckle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, go on, sorry. Will also told me to ask you about classic trials. You build your own bikes, is that right? Oh, motorcycle trials. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know why. I just like, I'm into classic stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I got like, yeah, classic motorbikes. All sorts Rad. of stuff. Like road bikes as well, classic classic motorbikes. Um, just got rid of my classic car, actually, which was What'd a little bit uh, Ford Angular. Nice. Yeah. Wow. But it was a little bit. It was essentially a sprint car. Okay. Rapid. Yeah. Rad. Rapid thing. Yeah. Just was a sprint a car like a hill climb. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much hill climb. Yeah. It was built like the engine was built for like hill climb sprints. Right. But yeah, it sounded absolutely mental. Like, <laughs> like it was almost like rev like a motorbike. It was, <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy. You imagine like being inside that. Like it was like paper thin. You know. Yeah. Like, yeah pretty yeah. exciting. Um. Yeah. Just got rid of that. But yeah, I've got like classic. Done like not the not the Scottish six day, but like the classic. They have a classic version, the two day classic version. I rode that on a um, it's about five years ago. Um, rode that on a big Royal Enfield rigid. Oh, wow! And won that, so that was quite cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's really good. Like two days of that. So yeah, I'm just I want to get back up there. So I'm building a bike at the moment for that. 
What so bike? Like an aerial. Big aerial. So that would be quite a fun bike. Okay. Guys, so I, I tell you what, trials to me really appeals as like a, like getting older and being able to use a trials <coughs> motorcycle because it's up to you, isn't it? You don't have to, like going down a track now, I want to go quite quick. Mm. I can't imagine like the dialed back version being as fun. Mm. Whereas in trials, it's quite like you can dial it back and just take pride in a section. And, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but you see quite a lot of old guys running them at trials and it's like, it looks good still. It still yeah. looks like yeah. a, a great day out. I, yeah. like, I wish I could ride a trials bike. Yeah. Mm. I, still ride, I still ride with my dad. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Try such to. a cool thing to do, yeah. yeah. Not as much as I'd like, he always seems to like, just one of them where it just seems to slip away a little bit. But yeah, I got, um, I, I, hadn't, I didn't have a motorbike for ages, a trials bike, and I've always had one. Like pretty much all my life, like I've always yeah. had one there just in case I wanted one, and I had a big spell not having one. And then my dad was started riding a little bit more, and I was like, "Fuck, I need to like need to get a trials bike so I can just go out on a Sunday and have a, yeah. an hour." So yeah, I'd, I've I've got a trials bike again. I tried to get out on that still, and it's it's good because it's not that like when I go out on a push bike, I'm sort of judge or anything, but like there is that element of like even in yourself, yeah, yeah, it needs to be good, you know. I yeah. want to ride to a level. I don't generally go out and just go for a ride and just sometimes, yeah. So that got a trials bike and mm. yeah, just right. uh, ride that. And there's no no pressure, just a go and do my one. thing. Like a modern trials bike. Well, a model for me. Modern for you. <laughs> Still like 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. A, if people are listening and they know the trials bikes, I've got a Honda RTL 250. Right. Okay. Which if people know that. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. It is very cool. What uh, What's the normal week look like for you now? Now you're at this point in your career, like, you know, how much riding do you do? How much time do you spend doing other stuff, hobby stuff, or whatever you call it? Um, so, ride, like, if I can, mm. um, if there's nothing else going on and I can, which is, like, pretty much normally, like, I ride, ride every day for a week, and then very rarely ride weekends, very rarely. Okay. Um, just be, not for any other reason, it's not, like, tired or anything, it's just that I don't like people. Mm. And it's like generally at weekends, there's a lot of people about, you know. Even where you ride. Even where, I, yeah, I mean, but it's just, yeah, I just, I don't know, very, it's just, yeah. Like the yeah, opposite just, of a weekend warrior. Yeah. yeah. A weekday yeah, warrior. Yeah, that's it, yeah. So, like, I, I mean, yeah, try to ride every, every basically every morning, try to do that. Yeah. So I'm like out every morning and then, yeah, just go and do that. Okay. But it's probably, it's probably more now than I used to. I'm a little bit more sort of like, more regular mm. whereas before like we were sort of like talking about it last night where I'd or this morning where I'd just have like a week off or I just couldn't be bothered not because I couldn't be bothered I just cause mm. you know like just not into it just have a week off Happens. and yeah. it, it could be two weeks I might not touch my bike right. but then I'd be back on it you know yeah. I've been doing it for quite a long time so I feel like you even need to switch things up a little bit or just have that time mm. um, or we'll saw the brakes off Saw the brakes off. Yeah. That'll get you back into it. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't recommend it too much. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, wow. you might find you might be taking time off your bike for other reasons if you do that. But <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Who knows? Where can everyone find you? Yeah. Um, in the woods. <laughs> yeah, other yeah, than in the yeah. woods with a dog yeah. and uh, a camera. But good in luck, the tube good to luck with that. Good and is there anything as well that like we haven't covered that you wanted to talk about? Because I think it's important. Um, important in case I feel like we've had a really good art there's so much to talk about it's yeah, yeah that's the thing though like I've you know like I mean a lot of people probably tuning in now to like my Instagram stuff probably don't even know the half of it you know like yeah. where yeah. Yeah. how how long I've sort of been going at it and yeah it's that's like one thing I've, I've re like it's been it's been cool to have like that longevity yeah wh however right. that's happened and just you know keep going and it's interesting because like people just say, oh, like, how long are you going to be doing it for and all that? And I'm just like, till, till <laughs> literally till I don't want to do it, you know? Mm. Um, obviously, like you need backing to do that. And obviously, like I'm a white at the moment, which it's been a breath, like really good, like not just saying it because obviously like I could just say it, you know? Yeah. But it's, I um, feel like it's been a brilliant move going to white bikes. Um, nice. Just sort of reinvigorated me. You know, people are cool, work with, you know, product's good getting yeah. better as well yeah so that's been you know it's so you feed much back because i'm gonna guess you can go through some products or see now I mean, like you know, in the way <coughs> you're testing it 
Yeah. To to ways that they probably. I mean, because I'm on. I've like this is my second year. Yeah. It's not really been there. Okay. But like going forward, I would imagine yes. Yeah. But it's obviously like that. You know, obviously how the bike industry works, especially at the moment. It's like they've already got their stuff that they're doing. Mm. You know. Mm. And a year in is not like had enough to really go there, but yeah, okay. going forward, hopefully we'll be working together. Yeah, um, yeah. and that's the thing because it's such a you know the, the company's so small. Yeah, you, know, you can the stuff that you say gets to the right place because you're talking to the right person straight away. So totally, you say about longevity as well, man. It's like you put an edit out not that long ago. I think probably when you first signed for White, and the cool thing is that you still have that ap- appeal as a athlete. Where it's like a seminar kid, it's still, it's like, oh, yeah, for Chris sure. Chris has put another, I can't not watch it. It's going to be sick. Yeah. Like, he, you know? Yeah, it's, I still feel like, I still feel like I'm sort of relevant, I guess, for want of a better word. Mm. And I feel like, you know, I'm still at a decent level and yeah. people still want to watch it. Yeah. So that's cool with me. Yeah. But like, I mean, that's not why I'd carry on or not carry on. Um, it's because I've, I still feel good, you know, like on my bike when mm. I'm riding. Mm. I don't feel like, you know, don't feel shit on a bike. So, like, you know, I'll carry on doing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, until Til the uh, brakes fall. Uh, I haven't really worked that one out yet. <laughs> until the brakes fall. <laughs> it's a great yeah, I haven't really title. worked out that yet, no. I, don't, I ain't got a clue what I'm going to do when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I feel you. Uh, <laughs> but no, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, um, yeah. Interesting. Mate, it's been good. It's, I feel like we've got way more context about, like you say, when people go on Instagram or see these clips now, it's like, okay, you kind of, for me, way more of an understanding of who you are, what's gone into making that clip, the amount of tries it's probably taken, and how critical you are of everything that's going out. I think it's really rad, dude, to have more of a context to, to it all and yeah, it get to know you over the last couple of days. It's been real fun as well. Yeah, it's, it's a funny one with that. It's like... It could be first time. It could be like yeah. a lot of yeah. times. But you know, <laughs> I think sometimes like if it's first time, I'm more annoyed than it is if it's hundred times. You know, yeah. It's like, oh, that's easy. Oh, I want to see more. <laughs> I want to see more though, man. I want to see you back on the tube. Yeah. If I'm honest, I, I know we spoke about it this morning at like coffee and breakfast, but genuinely, I th- I'd love to see more of it. Yeah. And I think people who are watching this probably will feel the same. Yeah, I just yeah, I just started thinking about it. Yeah. And I think just need to work out what that looks like. I mean, I sort of know what it'll look like, but mm. yeah, I need, yeah, I want to start doing a bit more. There has been a little bit of a call for it, to be honest. People have been mentioning it, saying that they'd like to see more like YouTube stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Watch this space. There we go. <laughs> does that mean I've got to do something now? Yeah, it does. Yeah, oh, you've written a check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a few people God, after this probably yeah. hit you up as well. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> no man thank you we appreciate you where can people find more where where do they follow you what's your socials and yeah just phone instagram and stuff? chris a craig um <laughs> that's pretty much yeah instagram chris a craig probably yeah. youtube potentially soon mm-hmm. there's a lot of stuff on white bite it's got me on page in there as well so head over there and okay. you can see some stuff on there as well Sick. um yeah that's Lovely. pretty much it beautiful fantastic been a blast it has indeed big has. thanks for coming along yeah thank thanks, you. thanks for having appreciate me. it <laughs> Like and subscribe. Almost forgot. Like Peace and love. <laughs> what an episode. You did really well, though. <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. Yeah. Do you know what? I'll finish it off. What? If you could put some sort of link over my face. Yeah, I can do that. I could put a right? video up on Ollie's face of an episode we think you'll love. Is it on now? There is a subscribe button here on this chair. And on my face, another video we think you'll love. Thank you. We appreciate you. There's nothing in the chair now. Subscribe. <laughs>